Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? Guys, we did it. We made it. We made it to another phase. We made it to another zero space alpha phase. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. It feels like it feels like not that long ago. It was January and we were playing zero space for the first time and we were figuring this out. And by the by the time it was over, I was so sad. I was so sad that it was done. I had so much. I had such a good time in the first the first phase. I got to cast the first big tournament they did, and it was it was awesome. I got all the best matches. It was it was very good. I think I think we ended January zero space on a very high note. I was really 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 pumped about that, and it was not a game that I had given a tremendous amount of my attention to before uh, that phase did start. But I think I told you guys the story. They had like a little online creator summit thing with the developers and a bunch of casters and streamers and whatnot and. I listened to Cats and Scarlet talk about their game and they, they sold me on it. So I played it a bunch. I got kind of addicted to it. It's uh, it's a little bit less buggy. It was, it was already less buggy UI wise than Stormgate. So the thing that I like the most about this right now is that it's, it's actually pretty smooth. They've, it's very, it's very smooth. They've got a really good, they've got a really good game um, going, going. So I'm just uh, I'm just excited to play it today because I already know that most of the things most of the things that I need to play are actually already done in this game, so that's gonna make things three to five percent easier, three to five percent easier. And we do we do like it we do like it when things are easy peasy breezy make deluxe. I think so. I'm gonna try and do my best to just uh, show you guys everything in the game, answer your questions, but. There's a bunch of new stuff. There's a bunch of new stuff. So we are live. We are live. My streamer code for I heard I hear there's streamer codes you can get for tuning in to win stuff too. <laughs> Wow, do I have a streamer code? Do I have a streamer code that you guys can use to win the zero space giveaway? Oh my gosh. Am I shilling for myself now? This is pod racing. This is pod racing. Hell yeah. We haven't looked at the game in a little bit, have we? We haven't. Also, I want to say hi to Lantair in the YouTube chat. Hello, hello. Welcome to the stream, guys. Hello, Jasmine Owl, Bartholomew, Jeff's Gayest Fan, Jimmy Jams, Ungindin, Jebedo. Who else is here? I think I got everybody. Welcome to the stream, guys. Thanks for, thanks for tuning in to the start of this one. It's going to be a fun day. This is a new RTS game, like I said. Um, it's it's good. It's very good. I I'm just I'm excited to see what everything that they added. I did get a huge patch notes list. Um, I don't think even even if I try. Okay, actually, well, let's see. How fast can I read off the patch notes? Let's let me give an attempt. General, you can never join a match if disconnected. Button is available under the Find Lobby screen as an alpha feature. It may not work reliably, not meant to be relied on currently. Hotkeys, all ability hotkeys can be changed. The default hotkeys for many units have been changed to be more consistent across all factions. New miscellaneous hotkeys. Hockey menu now shows conflicts. To get a new hockey layout and new hockeys, you need to reset your hockey from the hockey menu. Replays added, disabled by default. Hundreds of new units and voice lines. You can now set match privacy, UI style updated. This is the first pass on your iteration. We have more changes planned after the alpha. Tons of visual and sound improvements. You can now select building blueprints for Legion and Protectorate. Select headquarters button now cycles to operating towers, new mouse cursors. Auras are now hidden unless unit is hovered. Units with auras now have a glow under them. Movement commands are more sensitive to close Movements. Units now have to move to the center of command. You can now ping top bar abilities, drag formation set on by default, added lobby background, image, cloaked units hold fire. If cloaked, heroes respawn from the lowest holding operating tower. Colder picker renamed. Increased error release rate harvester button shows current account and limit. Improve the way pathing works so you don't have to verify all files after every patch. Perk compound removed. Extractor size lower so building team build closer. Faction selection happens before queuing and separate MMR perfection enabled. <sighs> did I did I do good, coach? Did I do did I do we win? I think I, I think I'm hyperventilating. I'm gonna need a second. 
That was kind of fun, though. Was that? Did I did I go too hard? I might have went too hard there for a second. Ooh. That's what we do here. That's what we do here. That's why we're here. You think anybody else? You think anybody else is doing that? No, they're probably doing something much more productive. We got a new menu. It's looking clean. It's looking clean. I can't set an icon. Oh, I can see my, my place, but I can't. I can't set my icon yet. That's what I need. That's what I need. I need to, I need to get like a chicken nugget as my, my profile picture. Now you're hyped for some gameplay. Yeah, he's ready. So if you guys didn't catch that, if you guys didn't catch what I just said, I'm going to go over a couple of the big ones. First, replays have been added to the game. So now, now there are replays. So we can use replays to look back on games and learn. That's awesome. You can change all the hotkeys in the game now. You can reconnect from a match if you disconnect. They did specify that this particular feature, feature is a little bit earlier than the other ones. But you'll be able to reconnect to games that you DC from. That's awesome. Um, they added two versus two. I believe there's a custom map you can play 2v2. Let's just check that. Let's just check that first. Host game. Yeah, so there's four player maps. There's two 2v2 maps, which is incredible. That's amazing. So we'll be able to play 2v2. We'll be able to play 2v2 with this patch. How cool is that? There's so much new stuff. And if your teammate disconnects, they can reconnect to the game, like League. How crazy is that? Technology, bro. Technology. That's, that's amazing. Hundreds of new unit voice lines and sounds. Uh, let me see. What are the other big ones? They got rid of the Merc compound. Each MMR has its own faction already. So separate MMR per faction has been added to the game. You pick what faction you want to play before you queue now. So that way, that way it can search by, M search by faction. So they've already got different MMR per race in the game. As far as balance stuff they've done, they've added new passives to all of the mercenary factions. Um, extractor, extractor mining rate has been increased. So they've, they've increased the amount of money you guys get. They've increased the amount of money that you get from the extractors. They removed the headquarters drip income. I don't even know what that means. Main base now has six hexite patches instead of four. Wow. So you start with a lot more money. You start with a lot more money and supply. Constructing buildings have a small amount of vision. Maps now have less flux deposit. Especially reduced in the out-of-the-way areas. So those corner ones people were sniping. Harvester max count reduced from 6 to 5. So you can only have 5 harvesters and their price is up. And they're a little bit faster with less health. Killing a harvester now gives you 50 flux no matter what. So this is these are some really big changes. So they've basically made it... So if you guys don't remember... Originally in zero space, you only had like a couple of mineral patches. You don't have workers that mine them. Your base kind of builds things over them. So now they're making it so that you get more of those patches and you start with more of them already built. So it, it looks like the economy is going to start a lot faster on this version of the game. It looks like the economy is going to be much faster in this game now. You start with 15 supply too. The Grell hero can no longer teleport friendly units with it, but its cooldown was reduced. That's cool. Yeah, so there's going to be 2v2, separate MMRs, new heroes for all the factions, new units for all the factions. The Behemoth got redesigned. So the Behemoth now, after enough attacks, it, it morphs into an evolved state, gaining additional damage and an attack that sets the ground ablaze, can now sacrifice itself to create a burning area. What?! Okay, that sounds awesome. So they gave me Tassadar. They straight up gave Grell. They straight up gra gave Grell. They gave Grell a Tassadar. A Tassadar uh, YOLO, YOLO dive ability. Cool. I'll take it. Let's see. Legion got a new two new units. 
The Legion got two new units and a new, uh, a new building. Protectorate got a new hero. I'm not breathing. I'm getting so focused trying to read this. I gotta calm down. I gotta calm down. I'm already, I'm already, I'm already getting worked up. There's so much. You guys will love this, though. For the crab, the Chakru Kingdom, the crab summon, they reduced the cost of it. It's amazing. They also nerfed the Rageborn a little bit, too. Yeah, it looks like they've changed a bajillion things. There's so much. There's so much in the... I'm going to post the patch notes. I'm going to post the patch notes. I don't know. I like they, it, there's so much. There's so much. There's so many things they changed. It's crazy. Yeah, you want to see the patch notes? I, I don't know if I can actually share this Google Doc document. I'm actually sorry. I don't know if it has like privacy settings on it. There's just a lot. I'll try to take a I'll try to take a screenshot. I'll try to take a screenshot for you. I'm just gonna post that. There's so much. I'm just gonna post it in Discord. There's so much. That's just They fixed a lot. There's a lot. There's a lot. Have I been enjoying it? You know, I really, really, really enjoyed playing Zero Space during the last test phase. I got to, I got to cast it as well. So what I, what my expectations are is I'm going to play the crap out of this. I'm going to play a ton of it. Let's take a look at the other options and see. Attack move on rally. I like that. Quick cast for attack move and patrol. I think I wanted to use this, but found it was a little too... I think I was blowing my own stuff up too much with it. I'll try drag formation. We'll, we'll mess around with that today. Right click portrait to cancel. I kind of like that actually. I can see that being useful. Alternative abilities require ability modifier pressed. Unsiege requires a diff, uh, an additional ability key to be pressed. Better control whether your army will siege or unsiege. So it would be the same hotkey, but I'd have to hold down control to do it. I don't know if I like that. Some of these, some of these default ones were a little tricky, I think, for me. How long you have to hover over minimap before right click will send units to the minimap location. This can prevent you from accidentally sending units. Oh my god, I would pay money for this feature in League of Legends. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I'm gonna. I, I, oh, who programmed this button? Who made this setting? Who is the genius? Who is the who is the god? Who who is the Dr. Manhattan? Who is the Dr. Manhattan at Starland Studios that has seen that has seen the the mental anguish people get from accidentally clicking on the mini map in the heat of battle? There is no setting for this in StarCraft. There is, you can turn off the ability to move via the minimap in League, but that also means that when you click on it, you're, you're like, yeah, you just, you lose the ability to click on it at all. So it's like, eh, it's like a huge trade-off. It sucks. Sometimes you want to move with the minimap. Sometimes you don't want to move with the minimap. Is 100 MS enough time? Yeah, probably. Like, if my mouse was only there for less than a hundredth of a second, then I'm probably not. I'm probably not trying to click there. Or I'm doing it really fast. We'll see. We'll see. I'll just leave it as default. We'll just, we'll see how that goes. Enable replay recording. Turns on and off replay recording. Affects performance. This does make sense. Saving, saving all the actions of the replay file to the replay file is definitely a part of it, I, I, I guess. League of, League of Legends gets around this by having the server record the replays auto assign control group i'm pretty sure i did not like that pretty sure i did not like that left click terrain command no, i'm not sure what that means what happens when you left click terrain with the mouse oh i see i see 
Invert drag scroll. Select and center camera, select and center camera. I love all of those things. Cool. Are my hotkeys all the same too? Doo -doo. Is that like rocks and stuff? I think that just means clicking anywhere. Like if you click off of your units, you can deselect them is what it's saying. You have the option, you have the option to deselect units by clicking away from anything. That's what that button is for. You can also make it so that left clicking when there's no target is also an attack move. That's that's it gives you the option to have it do nothing, which is the default behavior, attack move, which is a new option, or deselect, which is a new option. I don't think that was in the game last patch. They added a lot. They added a lot of settings. They they said that all the all the hotkeys as well were changed. Although I don't think they changed it if you already had settings. So everything we had from the last patch should still work. I don't remember. I don't remember if there was anything that I wanted to change. I don't remember. I feel like I was I feel like I was vibing the last time we played this. I felt like I was kind of just vibing, right? I don't even know. I don't even know if we need to to worry about that. Select air units is a separate button from select all army. Huh. Select all units of the same type as selected. What? So I can grab one of my links, I can click on just a zergling, and then hit this key, and it selects all my links on the map, and nothing else. That's incredible. That is incredible. I like this. I think they, I think they, I think the patch notes also said that the select main building, uh, if you press it multiple times, I think it cycles through your town halls like StarCraft. I'm pretty sure that that was in the patch notes. I'm pretty sure they changed that. So that's awesome. Great changes. Great changes. I, I love everything I'm seeing so far. Health bar mode, standard, always on, always off, damaged only. A damaged is fun, but I think visually I just want always on just so I know, right? just so I can, I mean, I'm a noob. I'm a noob, I'm still learning. Health bar and mini map color, player color, team color, relative color. Yeah, relative, I guess. Cursor size, oh, you can make that cursor big. Oh, look at me, I got, look, cause I'm playing in 4K, I need the big cursor. I need that big, I need that big juicy mouse cursor. It's true, guys. That resolution is so high right now. Speaking of, this alpha ends on 420. Coincidence? I think not. That's not true. The tournament's on 420, but it sounded cool when I said it, so go with it. You can mirror the mini-map. can have it on the left side. Mirrored. I mean, we want the mini-map on the left, right? Because that's... We're just used to that from StarCraft. StarCraft's the only game you can't change it, so... Show unit name as tooltip. When hovering a unit or structure, tooltip will show its name and player owner. I actually kind of like that for learning the game. I want to turn that on. And then there's a delay. You have to hover over it. Oh! Ooh! Ooh! That's... Ooh. Yeah, well, hey, snap cursor when targeting. Cursor will snap to target when targeting. Oh, hell yeah! Auto-aim... <laughs> yeah, let's mess with that. Show ping? Hell yeah. Give me all that good stuff. <laughs> Borderless? No, we go full screen now. We go full screen. We're full screen gamers now. That's what we do here. They got dynamic resolution. Ah. Now, my FPS limit is... Uh, yeah, I when NVIDIA does that for me. I don't have to worry about that. I don't have to worry about that setting. View distance. <laughs> it's like I'm in Fortnite. I love it. 
Just got everything cranked all the way up. That sounds good to me. That sounds good to me. Game volume. Yeah, I didn't I don't I don't have this stuff cranked particularly high because it's important to me that we can, you know, we can hear stuff. So I think I keep the music down because we have music on the stream and then I'll keep the rest of the sound. I didn't mean to have it that low. That feels really low. And the game sounds a lot louder than I remember. Yeah, Nathan, possibly. Are you, do, you, do you know what you're doing right now? Are you sure, you're, you sure you're not opening Pandora's box? Well, that is one of my favorite things to do, so... Let's face it. It was going to happen anyway. True. Versus tutorial. So there's a new tutorial. There's a new tutorial. That's cool. That's cool. Find match. You can do 1v1, 2v2. Wait, is 2v... Can, does this work? Can you search for 2v2? I thought this wasn't going to be in here at the start. They said I thought they said this wasn't going to be ready yet. I I don't think this button works. Am I crazy? I That would be pretty sick if we could play 2v2 already. I was under the impression that that would not be the case. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right, let's play. Let's play. Let's at least, let's at least, uh, we, I, I, I haven't, I haven't actually looked through all the Grell changes. So let's, let's play a cheeky, let's play a cheeky AI game. Let's play a cheeky AI game. Get a look at everything, you know, re, refigure, refigure stuff out. I feel like I was supposed to adjust. I feel like I, I skipped a step here. Am I loading into the game already? I feel like I skipped a step on accident. Yo, Plague Bird, you're excited on Zero Space? Hell yeah. You've only played the tutorial? It looks like it's loading into the game, but I, I don't think I selected anything. So I might, I might have, they might have streamlined it. Oh, okay. They did streamline it. It loads into the lobby first here. That makes sense. That makes sense. Let's do. See my Grell boys. So the behemoth is totally different. The behemoth is totally different. It looks like we still just have the Grell hero. Two root colonies in there. There's a new mercenary faction, the Arandi. So they give you a passive bonus. Unit research is completed instantly. Isn't that like crazy? Just instant unit research? And then there's like a triarch hero. I kind of want to mess with this. I kind of want to mess with this. What are their talents? Gain one free harvester instantly and increase max harvesters by one. What? Minus 50% unit research cost. Additional shade accompanies all mercenary purchases. Plus 25% casting range for all abilities. Damn. Plus 25% power gain from lost units and structures. Okay, so Chakru synergizes even better. Chakru synergizes even better with Grell on this. 20% faster building construction? Oh. Okay, that's pretty sick too. Destroying enemy harvesters and buildings. Oh, so they get pillaged by default now. They get pillaged by default. Your buildings and harvesters are booby-trapped and explode when killed, dealing 90 damage. Damn. And then just more faction experience, passive and from control towers. So the the Moran the Moran with the, the their little hover tanks and the These guys were really good though. The 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 mercenaries, the dread raiders are are going to be a lot more popular now that you automatically get the money back for killing stuff. That's going to really encourage aggressive strategies from those players. That's gonna be nuts. That's gonna be nuts. But let's try. Let's try our chakru, guys. Let's 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 stick with let's stick with what we know for our first matchup since we don't know anything. We'll go we'll go against a hard AI. The AI in this game is pretty good too. So if we're lucky, they'll kill us. 
Yeah, Zero Space is back. Dread Raider sounds very strong. Yeah, getting money for killing stuff at the beginning by default is pretty huge. That does feel big. Did I break it? Okay, okay, okay. Oh, look at that zoom in. That zoom in animation is nice. That zoom in animation is really nice. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, my game sound's not even on. Oh, they cleaned this up quite a bit, didn't they? The incubator, what do you need? What do we need for that? Root colony. Wait, so this is an advanced building now? Oh, you still just need the nourishing pod for it. I'm, I'm a dumb dumb. That's all. My idle worker hockey. Okay, some of the settings, some of the settings definitely did get reset. This is good though. This is good because this this gives me opportunity to try and fix stuff. Supply bar shows free supply. I kind of like that. I kind of like the idea of that. Oh yeah, I gotta get my hero. It feels a lot. It feels a lot smoother, but some of the. Some of the settings, some of the settings are definitely, you can't change all of them inside the game, can you? Drag, scroll speed, yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of stuff looks like it got reduced. I might have to turn off the camera zoom too, if I can. I, I'm not sure I need that. It's nice for showing things off though. This already feels really, really smooth though. My my select idle worker hotkey is not is not in the game, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have to go. We're, let Let's just fix everything. Let's just fix everything. Where is it? Where is my worker hotkey? Bring them to me. Where is it? Where's my general generic abilities? Mm, no. Where is it? 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 Select next harvester. There we go. Next harvester idle. Boom. There we go. There we go. And then select all army is nice. Perfect. Perfect. Somehow I opened up like seven different things on my desktop during that. My bad, guys. My bad. I gotta forget. I forget to lock my Windows keys sometimes when I play other games. Enemy in range. Look at the AI, by the way. Are we already on like three bases over here? Can you guys tell how much smoother this looks compared to how it used to be? Okay, they expanded down to that one first. Well, it's each their own, I suppose. Oh, look at him. That looks a lot nicer. The frame times, the frame times feel much smoother. It's really nice. They gotta get, we gotta get DLSS on this bad boy with these graphics settings. I like it. Pretty good FPS for native 4K though. Consume, yeah, they, they standardized a lot of the keys is what they were saying. Oh, look at that. Oh, you see, that's the targeting thing it was talking about. Cool. It's not selecting an idle harvester, though. It's not selecting an idle worker. Unit production complete. Okay. Production I got to look at that hotkey again. It's at the bottom, right? Select next harvester. Yeah, it just takes select next harvester, I guess. Well, no, harvester is harvester. That's the problem, Nate. You're pressing the wrong button. Yeah, you just want to reset that. Yeah, you want builder. Select next builder. There we go. 
Perfect, perfect. Okay, well, now we're getting somewhere. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Uh oh. Enemy psychic. Is there a reason I can't build? Uh oh. I was attacking my own dude for a second there. What am I doing wrong? Okay. Okay. I just gotta get. I'm gonna have to mess with a lot of hotkey stuff after this. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not even upset about it. I'm not even upset about it. Spacebar for the bases, though. I'm 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 already used to Stormgate with uh, I'm already used to Stormgate's method with uh, spacebar for all army hotkey. I do have the nourishing pod here to help, so that's nice. Oh my god, he's got so many. He's got so many. Perfect. Look at that position. Look at the position he's in. There we go. There we go. I'm just I'm just out here being like, I gotta redo all my hotkeys. I gotta figure out, okay, I gotta re I gotta re-remember how to place down my buildings, my select all army, everything. And then and then I'm just like, oh yeah, by the way, oh yeah, by the way, the, the AI is gonna gonna actually push you and attack you, but it's so much smoother. It's so much smoother. Like the performance is really, really nice. My FPS is about the same, but it it feels it feels much nicer. They've definitely cleaned up frame times. I should. I think this is the part where I should probably probably take the additional bases. It's also crazy that they raised the income scaling so much. It's uh. It's really. It's really neat. Really interesting. Really interesting path they went with stuff. I gotta relearn everything, though. I think I'll set select all army back to spacebar. Stormgate broke me with that. I think I even copied that on StarCraft after playing Stormgate. Look at the way the grass moves. You guys see how the grass moves around your units? It's beautiful. Unit production complete. Production. Getting murdered by the AI though is a is a very very honorable way to go down as you guys are all aware. There's no shame. There's no shame in that. Everybody everybody falls the first time, Neo. Everybody falls the first time. We know that. I think I'm cooked. I think I'm cooked. Do I have anything left? I can just I just keep turning all my bases into into turrets and hoping that that will that will be enough to save me. Building upgraded. Get these guys back to the nourishing pods. Upgrade them, upgrade them, upgrade them. Biomass, biomass. Bro, he's absolutely crushing me. What else do we what else are we supposed to build? Oh yeah, I never made that thing. That thing's the one I really need, right? That's the upgrade. It's the upgrade building. I keep pressing space bar trying to grab my army, but pulling on uh pulling on my my natural instead. Production is now idle.
Hey, Bayo, are you talking about like damage and killing and stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just playing a game against a bot while I fix my settings because I don't know what stuff got reset in this patch. So I wouldn't I wouldn't take anything you're seeing here too seriously. I'm just trying to I'm trying to remember all of my hotkeys that I don't that I don't have set correctly anymore. They added they added the ability to change a lot of stuff, but they also changed a lot of the default hotkeys. So all the default all the default hotkeys that I didn't change got changed. And all my custom hotkeys that I did change partially changed and partially didn't, so This is this is my test game. Yeah, they, they added a lot more mineral patches to the main base, and you start with more of them, so that's really the biggest thing I've noticed is you get units, you can you can you can start doing stuff a lot faster. You still have the hero instantly, but everybody has everybody has a lot more money. Everybody has a lot more money at the start. This is gorgeous. This looks beautiful. Well, the advantage of my faction is supposed to be that my research is instant. So, not getting my research structure has has been has been tough. So, there you go. That should be just done. Right? That's like the whole point, I think. Oh, he's already got his tier 2 upgrades on those guys, though. To get the X, I need what? The medium incubator? Okay. I think he stopped me from building that earlier. Let's do... Yeah. Buff infused always. His siege guys. His siege guys, man. We're toast. He's got too many. It looks like they mine out faster, though. Wow. Yeah, they raised how much money comes from them and how many you get in the start. So you get more money to start, but your base your base mines out faster. Interesting. So by about the 10-minute mark, if you haven't expanded out of your main, you're, you're just cooked. I think that seems pretty reasonable. That feels, that feels fair. Him having all these siege guys on me is a nightmare. Unit production complete. Production is now over. I gotta bring everything back. I gotta power all of them up first. I gotta power all of them up first. Unit production complete. Oh, that guy swoops down. He doesn't even fight from the air. I'm so dumb. Nathan, just get more of your little ling guys, okay? You just need a few more. Just get a few more, and then we just dive him. We just send it. Just just send it, bro. Just send it. Just keep moving. Keep moving. It's okay. It's okay. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Yeah, see? Because I had a button set for my upgrade building as well. Enemy in range. But I should have the upgrades immediately, right? That's the idea. So my guys, my guys already have it then. I should already have it then based on. And you always get money when you kill harvesters too. So that's another big one. We just need to get more. Unit production complete. More. Production is now idle. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Upgrade complete. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Wait, we gotta wait. We gotta wait. Let's, let's be like two to three percent smart about this if we can. It's too much, it's too much, Nate. It's too much. Stall, just stall, stall, stall. He did. He's not gonna make it. He's not gonna make it. 
Building upgraded. Oh! Yeah, no, okay, okay, okay. We're, we're, we're cooked here. We're cooked. We never even got close to our behemoth, boys. I need to set the, the seven key to my upgrades, because that's what I've been doing in Stormgate, too. That'll help a lot. I like that when you play versus the AI, though, pausing actually pauses the whole game, so that makes it a little bit easier. Yeah, research buildings. I want to set that to seven. Yeah, it's conflicting with the control group, right? But I'm not. I'm not going to use control group for seven. That makes life easier. And then, let's see. Select all army. I guess we probably just want to make that space bar. I kind of like that. I like that. Cutscene short skip. Yeah, well, I don't think I've got any cutscenes to worry about. Now select main buildings. Let's set that to... Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We could put that on five, right? Because that's the hotkey we're going to use for our main building anyway. Since it moves the camera, I think that's acceptable. Perfect, perfect. Now I just need the camera to center when I press select all army hotkey and we're cooking with gas. Can I have two hotkeys on that? Can I have, can I put two, can I give the same thing two different hotkeys? Is that possible? Maybe, maybe not. Okay, I don't think I can have two hotkeys for it. That's fair, that's fair. They probably don't want people being too cheeky with it. I'm a little used to using the mouse button for it, too. I'd like to use both, but that's, that's, that's completely acceptable if not. Unit production complete. Enemy in production range. is now on top. So that's the behemoth powered up, huh? All right, let's leave. Let's leave the game and see. Let's just double check everything one more time. There might be a config file somewhere where I can put multiple in, but I just want to take one more look at this. Just make sure anything else that changed. Camera files, selected units, center camera on selected units. I like Control F for that. So we use in StarCraft, right? That's a pretty ass Zerg butterfly right there. Hell yeah, man. Hey, Nish. If you guys uh, haven't seen, by the way, the Zero Space fam, they're doing a bunch of cool stuff this month. They're running another $10,000 tournament coming up in April. There's going to be a prologue for the campaign available soon. Um, that's not available yet, but there's 2v2 maps that you can play already in the game. You can enter to win a bunch of different prizes uh, by interacting with them, playing the game, watching streams. I've got a code. I've got a code pinned in the chat that you can use to enter and get a bunch of, I think you can get like 25 more entries into the contest just by using my code. So I'd appreciate it if you did that. Go win yourself some swag. I think they've got like graphics cards and like a, you can be named, you can name an NPC after you or something is one of the prizes. Some pretty cool stuff. I'd recommend you check it out. Thanks for hanging out with me today. We'll be, we'll be jumping in and playing a lot of 1v1s and all in 2v2s. I just want to dial in my settings. That's all. They add. They gave us a lot of new options for for UI and hotkeys uh, that we didn't have on the last build. So I'm just trying to make sure that I get that as as good as I want it to be. Now, see, this one has two hotkeys, right? Backspace and escape. So they have the ability to show you that there's that they have a couple of different controls for some, but. Cycle between army, production, and research. This is a tab key. Oh, okay, interesting. They have like a new UI wheel. I didn't even try to use it that game. That's probably, it's probably got something to do with it. Oh, patrol, I can set patrol. There we go, W. What conflicts? Yeah, Nathan, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. Yeah, patrol might have to be, patrol might have to be something else. How about control W? What's the conflict there? The top bar ability? Yeah, you don't want that one either, Nathan. Okay, how about this? Ah, we stick with patrol, I guess. Stick with P. I gotta think of something else for that one. 
think of something else for that one. See, attack A, build B. These things, these things all make sense. These things all make sense. Okay. I feel like I feel like we're just about there. I just need to remember all the specific hotkeys for different buildings now. They're separated by faction too, so I can change the individual. You can change each and every single individual thing. Build advanced augmentation pool. I mean, I could change a bunch of these to basically be like StarCraft, I guess. Build Stinger. It's a good one. But I think I'm fine with this. I think I'm fine with those settings. I'm, I'm fine with getting used to those. I wonder how the dynamic resolution works on this, too. It makes me 3% scared. All right. I like it. I like it. Let's play. Let's try and kill the AI as fast as we can. Let's do one more real quick calibration game, and then I think we should be good. Privacy. Oh, see, you can... Okay, that, that's what match setting was. I skipped that for the last one. So you can turn on spectating. You can close the lobby. Right? You can close the lobby. Beautiful. Beautiful. And make it private. Nobody can see it. Nobody can watch it. Fantastic. The flying lobster turns into a beautiful moth lobster. That's how they, that's what they did to it. So instead of that unit having the upgrade it used to have where it lights the ground on fire, that ability, they replaced it with the unit now powers up as it deals damage and then it becomes a stronger version of itself. So they made a lot of changes. They made a lot of changes. Let's go, let's go AI hard. Let's do it. Let's try, let's try to play the game. Let's try to play the game now. Now that we've got it working a little bit. Oh, you need two. You need two to do these guys now. So tab, tab to cycle. Production, research, last user selection. Oh, you upgrade it and it flies, but it doesn't look like it's flying. Okay. Gonna let him build that first and then we'll start our production. I think I think I did find a way to mistime that. Let's grab the let's just get the EXP tower and play it smart. I did fly my little guy straight into him too, like a like a genius. That's mine. That's what I need is I need to get the harvesters. The harvester comes like as soon as you expand, right? Or you get it even before you expo. I need to look back at my own VODs and just take another look at what I was doing before the last phase ended too. That'll probably help a lot. You like the animation of the grass spreading? It's really nice. They made it, they made it even nicer than it used to be too. It's really, really, really pretty, I think. I still don't have... Oh, I see the harvester space and the natural is gone. They moved around the resources quite a bit.
Yeah, the harvester I made went to the wrong spot, so that was a little bit unfortunate. And you don't have the one in your natural here anymore, so... Enemy in range. There we go. On biomass, gain stealth and a 50% attack speed. Okay, so Raptor is it? Ra they buffed Raptor. The Raptor option is really good now. I also accidentally teleported there. Okay, it's okay. We're still in this. Building up. Heal me. Tabbing through all my hotkeys does have my camera resetting on my base constantly. That's one thing I'm, I'm screwing up a lot. I don't want to be tapping back that hard. I'm just going through my units too quickly, probably. Just got to calm down. I'm just pressing tab will take me through everything, so that's good. The extra attack speed on biomass is crazy. That's like the biggest, that's like the biggest th change they made with that. Building up. Yeah, them moving this ability to double you, the deep burrow to double you though. I don't think I like that. I keep pressing that one on accident. Building up, Brady. Oh, he's got a big boy already. Get the hero, get the hero. I needed to like center on double tap instead of center on press. That's what I need. I'm a very I'm very needy as you guys are aware. How do you summon mercenaries though? That's the only thing I don't know with the changes that they made. Am I meant to do it? Am I meant to make some other kind of building that does it for me? That's the only thing I don't know. I don't think I pressed W there. But I guess I did. Yeah, I, I have to change that.
A little paused, right? Yeah. Which one am I using then? Yeah, that one's just jumping the camera. There is another option, though, about how that affects it, too, right? I might be in the other settings. I might be in the other settings outside of this one. Select and center camera. Yeah, select only, I guess. Yeah, that'll have to work. Let's try that. Oh, you spawn them from the main base. That makes sense. Oh my God. That makes a ton of sense. Okay, okay. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking, boys. Now we're cooking. I mean, the 50% attack speed on creep is pretty big. It does help. Building up, thank you. Even if, even if I'm getting absolutely riggedy wrecked, what do I need to do? Just summon, summon the hot guys, right? There we go. Yeah, take these guys off. Let them get their stealth. There we go. He's going to burn all the visibilities on those guys. Once we get through the small ones, I think we'll be okay. Oh my gosh. I do feel a lot better now. I think we've got our settings dialed in much better than we did before. Although this... This is that classic moment where the, the the thing is I have a lot of nourishing pods, so I don't think he can break me, but also I, I can I can spend the money that's coming in now on more fighters, so He always gets away. He always gets away. Yeah, he never killed this base, so I'm actually I'm actually like kinda of fine because I'm still on three bases. I still have three bases, so there's not there's not a lot to worry about. Let's take unit spawn spiderlings. Oh, did I take heavy focus on accident? That's okay. Bring them back, bring them back. I've got six of those. I have enough gas. What are the guys that shoot up? The cultists can attack up, can't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll take those. We take those because we can afford them. It's about all we can afford are a couple cultist guys. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Diving him with the lings. I mean, he still blows them all up, but, you know, we can pretend. We can pretend like we did something good there. It automatically rebuilds the harvesters and sends them back onto the map, so we don't have to worry about that, at least. We are out in the main, right? That's how they changed. They changed it so the bases mine out faster. So we just kind of hold on.
Yeah, they don't have the slow with the poison, but they deal. They have 50% attack speed increase, so. Absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. Yeah, I like Tree of Life. Tree of Life is busted. Yeah, he's going for some crazy tier 3 shit. I don't want any of that. Dirty, dirty, dirty play. You did the swap. He did the swap positions thing with my dudes. I don't like that. I don't like that. Fine, fine. What is it? What's the giga one I need, right? I need large incubators. Fine, is that what you want? You want me to build large incubators for you? Will that make you happy? Will that satisfy you? Will that satisfy your endless rage, your endless bloodlust? Look how many guys he has here. Yeah, I know. My army's about to turn invisible too, bro. Don't worry. I'm coming for you. Yo, this is actually... This is sick. This is running way better than it did on the last build. I love this. This is nice. Only thing I'm missing are my anti-air boys. That's about it. I don't think he has enough to really stop me though. The large incubators can make the, the big guys too. Yeah, just bring everything back. Bring everything back. We did take a few bases during this, so things things are going to get better for us. We don't have to worry. I just got to cancel some of the stuff I'm building, I guess, so these guys can finish up. But otherwise, we should be okay. He's transforming. Is he not really hitting him because of the low ground thing? Is that what that is? That's okay. We can get a few. We can get a few anti-air guys. It's not hard for us to do here. Let's take this tower too. Boo, mini-map is covered. Yeah. You know, that's a good point. It was supposed to be mirrored, isn't it? I thought it's supposed to, it's supposed to be on the bottom left, right? Can you change that setting when we're in-game? Do you know? Probably not, right? Or is that it? Okay, there we go. There we go. Cool. I fixed it. You're good, bro. You're right. I meant to have that on the left. It wasn't intentionally to torment you, just accidentally to torment you, that's all. Man, these guys don't do enough damage. Even with that plus 50% attack, that armor is thick. 
They got them big juicy thick armor. Don't mind me moving my guys around a bunch needlessly. It's just one of one of my many features. Perfect, perfect. I think we baited him in pretty decently. The Ravager Bile attack things are really, really good. That's like the that's like the key to this. It feels like you get a lot less of the the charges though. It feels like you get a lot less of the the, the points. Attack based energy is also gained outside combat. Now I guess we take bio nourishment. Enemy psychic. Got him. The way he blows up too. Does that is that a dot on the ground? Is that what it leaves behind? We have detected atmospheric Oh, he's coming out of that way, huh? He'll have to bring he'll bring it back. He'll bring it back. We'll get him. We'll get him to bring it back. Yo, Blank452, thanks for the sub, man. Well met. Happy Friday, baby. Oh, bro, he's got he's got them that seed them siege unit boys, them CG boys. Did I ever get my second big one? Yes, I did. I did. Okay, okay, okay. We can get behemoths. We can get behemoths. That's important. Where's my main? Where's my big? Where's my big behemoth? Where's my behemoth upgrades? I need like a whole different one for that, right? Yeah, we need the C building. Okay, okay. Let's start. Let's start up some behemoths. Power all this up as much as we can. And then we're about to go in. We're about to go in. Gain resources from killed enemies. Yep, it's one of those games. It's going to be one of those games. These are the siege guys. We definitely want those guys out. Oh, what the hell? He's just in my base? Are you kidding me, dog? Oh. Oh my god. He's just running all up on me. Screaming, yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Use my Talia ult. Oh, the Z key is for the behemoths to sacrifice themselves, by the way. Careful with that one. Okay, give me the range. I want Broodlords, bro. next spiderlings yeah essence collector it's a little bit harder to get essence I'm noticing that a little bit harder a little bit harder to get that essence where i want it take out the siege the siege man oh shit now, that guy is low he's getting very low Heal him up. Heal him up. Enemy 
Psyched. Grell Harvester. Yeah, I gotta remember to go back to these pods and get these guys healed. So the behemoths, they power up. Once they kill a few units, they actually get stronger. So they become very, very, very difficult to deal with. I think really what I need now is probably just even more production. Just prioritize taking out the siege guys and everything else dies pretty fast to me. So this is nice. There we go. We love to see it. This game is lasting forever. Feels like you guys are totally stuck without making any progress. <laughs> My favorite is when, is when someone comes into chat and makes a comment like that, not knowing that I'm playing against the AI, fixing my hotkeys every few minutes, but you're not wrong. If I if I beat this AI, it's not gonna GG. It will make me kill everything it has, even if it can't lose. Even if there's no way for him to win, it's he's not gonna GG or anything. That's why it feels like it's taking forever. If you're wondering why I'm doing this, it's just so that I can get warmed up and ready to play. Once I start playing 1v1s, you guys are gonna get really critical and you're gonna invest yourselves and you're gonna care a lot about what happens and you're gonna you're gonna make commentary on what happens in the games and all of that and that's all fine by me, but at the very least, if you're going to judge me, I'm going to make sure I get warmed up first. I hope that's fair transaction. I haven't played this in a couple of months, so daddy's, daddy's getting warmed up. That's all. That's all you need to know. All you need to know is daddy's getting warmed up. No, I did not plan to jump directly into 1v1 after three months of not playing this game. No, that does not make sense in any universe or multiverse. Whether it's Disney, Warner Brothers, or any other, any other uh, such, such and so forth. All right, if you want to know what that's like, just find that one song on TikTok, Daddy's Home, and just play that for yourself, okay? I should get the point across pretty effectively. You didn't know? Oh, you're good, you're good. I just thought, it, I just thought your comment was funny, that's all. Now I'm just warming up. I always do warm-up games. What I really love, look at the way the grass moves when you move units through it. These, they thought of everything. They, 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 a way to have beautiful, soft vision grass that doesn't impact the gameplay. Like, that's just, that's just... I didn't even know they could do that. I didn't even know they could do that. That's freaking awesome. But yeah, we're, we, 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 we probably win. The AI won't surrender, but we probably win. I like doing this though as a way to re remind myself to build all of the stuff, get the upgrades and whatnot. I'm still using that teleport ability on accident very often. No, this game looks so cool. They made the graphics are better. They made the UI better. They added an easy. They added an easy macro wheel that you can use the tab button to cycle through. I don't think it makes the game easier, but I think it makes it easier to understand like how to get to your different stuff. So I kind of like that for helping players learn the game. I think that's really important. You trying to kill my hero? You trying to kill my hero, dog? You kidding me? Are you kidding me, bro? Are you kidding me right now? It's just a bunch of flying guys against each other now. It's beautiful. If you see what I'm doing, I'm I'm actually spawning a bunch of. Uh, I'm gonna build. I'm gonna start building my my stuff inside of his base so that he can't can't just. The AI will try to hydra out and just spread everywhere. We don't have to let him do that though. We're gonna, we're gonna break him. Although getting rid of the grass, getting rid of the grass gets rid of my buff because I have, I have the buff that gives me plus 50% attack speed when I'm on it, so.
Oh, there you go. I, I, I it crashed. So, well, sometimes, sometimes it'd be like that. I think that was God's way of telling me that my practice game was over. So, <laughs> yeah, you see the grass receding as a wave of enemies is coming at you, but you can't see the enemies. Well, I, I mean, that's uh, in one on one hand. If your graphic settings are high enough to have the grass appear, then you get the advantage. On the other hand, on the other hand, you're going to have to avoid stepping on the grass when you have invisible units. Otherwise, you might move it to the side, right? There's two different ways to look at it. Either either you don't want it to be that easy or you do. Let's see. Fatal error. What, what, was it, what did it happen? Attempt to get allocation size external reported an unrecognized block. There you go. There you go. I'm going to I'm going to send I'm going to send these diagnostic files and then uh, restart the game. Hello Mr. Thanius, how are you today? I am I am well. I am well. I'm playing uh I'm playing Zero Space today. It's pretty fun. Let's see. Let's see. I see that 2v2 is an option. So, I'm going to I'm going to try I'm going to see if it works. I don't think anybody is, would be trying to do this, but maybe maybe I'll just break it. Somebody's going to tell me. Somebody's going to tell me I'm going to prison forever for pressing this button. Can anyone play Zero Space right now? I think that you have to have backed the game. I believe I believe right now the game is just available to people that have that have backed the game. This game is being entirely this game is entirely fan funded on Kickstarter like a year or two ago. Um I don't think I think they said the 2v2 is not working yet, but I did I did get my hopes up. If you guys look at this menu by the way, you can queue both modes. This is amazing. This to me is amazing. You could queue multiple modes and matchups. So not only would you have a separate MMR for 1v1 and 2v2, but you have a separate MMR from Grell, Protector, and Legion. So hypothetically speaking, if you were like, oh, I want to play random, I want to play whatever, this way you could actually play random, but your opponent will know what you are. So this is just really good design, right? Except your MMR is per faction as well. So your opponents would also be based on your opponents would also be based on this is if you guys don't know this is how counter strike q system works this right here is absolutely incredible Th this this right here might be the best thing they have in the game it is it is way up there it is i this is way up there wow That's just awesome. Like, I, th I think that's incredible. That's incredible to have in the game for people. The option to search both modes. If you're like, I want to play 2v2, but I also, but like, I don't think I could find a game. You could just queue both of them. And then if you, if there is somebody playing 2v2, you might get put in there. But if there's not, then you get 1v1. So you don't have to queue forever. I think that stuff like that's really cool. I also know that there's there's going to be a survival mode added as well. That's going to be like a horde mode. That's what they said. So at some point, at some point during the alpha phase, they said that they're going to be adding a prologue campaign mission so that people can test out some of their campaign stuff. But they're also going to be adding a horde mode like survival where you just build up your base and army and you defend infinite waves of growing attacks. So that's also very cool. It's also very cool, very cash, very cash money, if you ask me. I like it a lot. All right. Yeah, let's try. Okay, let's try. Let's do, let's see. Let's see what we can get. Let's see who's on. I imagine this is probably what most people are doing, so it shouldn't be too difficult for us to find games. We'll run in we'll run into the people that have that have already got those one base, those one base pushes ready to rock and roll, you know. We'll get our we'll get our reality check. Snap back to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. This game is just so pretty. Yeah, it is. They they made it nicer. It looks nicer in this patch too. It looks really nice. Well, when we get a game, when we get a game, I'll let you guys know. I'll keep you on the cozy screen.
Hey, Chi Park, good to see you, man. Hope you're doing well. I'd probably say a yellow crested warbler. I think I broke it. Did I, did I, did I, did I break it? Did I break the fine match screen? Let me try it again. Any pro t gameplay today? I don't know what you mean. Are you asking me if I'm gonna play a particular faction in the game? I am most likely going to play a lot of Grell today, um, just because that's gonna help me get into the the flow of things. You know, I'm not I'm not gonna be pushing one faction over others in any serious. Uh, oh, I think there was a patch actually. It looks like there was a patch. I see, I see that I have an update queued, so I probably just need to do that. That makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. I might have turned my game on too soon. I might have turned my game on too soon. There's a nine gigabyte update. <laughs> There's a nine gig update. Okay. It's done though, it's done, we're fine. Yeah, there are some hummingbirds by Katie's place that were pretty cool. Yeah, if you're wondering if you're going to see Protectorate on the stream, then I assume we'll probably play against somebody doing it. I assume we'll play against somebody playing Protectorate. This game doesn't have a tremendous focus on like air units or drop harass type stuff. So I think that if, if I'm gonna play with a lot of units on the ground, I really like playing Grell because you just have really good ground control with uh, being able to spread the biomass and it just looks really nice too. It's kind of how I think about it. As far as like protector it goes, I, I just don't think that they look as uh, interesting as Grell to play. So that's why I'm playing Grell, more or less. It feels really nice to micro stingers and get surrounds on people. I love that. I love that. Okay, I think the game is done patching, so I'm gonna restart it up and we'll see. The cool thing is that eventually I can queue them all just to mess around and practice them. I'll probably end up doing the same thing I did in StarCraft and get all the factions up to the highest highest rank.
but I'm in no rush. I'm in no tr I'm in no rush to do that. Unit production complete. Production is now complete. Let's see what he's got going on. If we can see anyway. The hell is that? Damn. Alright, so he's getting ready to expand here. Oh, I told him to build a attack structure. Or the, the production structure. Come on, come on. Unit production complete. Production is now on. Oh! I got you. I got I was so surprised I got into a game. You're right. Uh-oh. Oh, he dropped the big guy, huh? Unit production complete. Oh, he's he's bringing it, man. Unit production complete. Enemy production is now on. Big economy is what he's going for. Building upgraded. I'm getting money for killing his stuff at least. That's nice. Man, I thought I built a bunch more of those uh, spawn guys too. It's my bad. Unit 
Production complete. Production is now idle. What we do is, I guess, get enough to make... We try to get the fighter, the Rageborn guys, right? That's about it. That's about all we can do. Save up for that. No, I just couldn't get my production up, right? That was the big thing. I fucked up. I tried to start all those extra... I tried to start all those extra uh, racks. And I just couldn't, I couldn't get them finished in time. I might be able to with everything here. If I power all of this up. Losing the towers and the XP so early was brutal, though. Building up There we go. Well, we at least cleared him out. Production is now idle. Unit production. Production is now idle. Unit production. Production is now idle. Unit production. Production is now idle. We are so cooked. Got the hero. That was nice. <sighs> I mean, we are holding up. We are holding the bases up, really. It's just the problem of, like, actually getting enough. My economy. I've just been blowing every resource I have is the moment I get it. It's just too much, right? It's just too much. Well, we did get the other base, so we got that going for us. We did get the other one. It's not all. It's not all bad. We just have an absolute shit ton of resources we can't use. I had to make way too much to survive those early pushes. I think. I think we're cooked. Thank you. 
It's hard to tell though, it right? It's hard to tell. That's it. That's the most I've gotten done all game right there. Enemy in range. Take what you can get. We gotta be like several levels behind. That's what's tough, right? GG. I don't think there was anything I could do there. That was tough. That was crazy. That was absolutely crazy. Plague Bird has joined the ranks of Shoddy. Nice, nice. Yeah, game is definitely, it's definitely a lot smoother performance wise. When they set up, when they come up and set up those uh, those little siege spots outside your base, I feel like this the it's the slowdown isn't really even that good anymore. The choice between the fifty percent attack speed and the slow is huge, but being able to have a little bit of that camouflage is is maybe maybe better than having the slow. I think the slow might be better for like nibbling down bigger units, but if a legion is going to play like that then it's it's going to mostly be units we want we have to just win the fights with right so i think the the dps upgrade is probably better it's hard to say thanks for hanging out guys we've been playing zero space all day Okay, so we have a Grell opponent this game is what it looks like. So now we have a mirror matchup. Yeah, the early economy start feels a lot stronger. And it takes a little bit longer to get that first boost out that people use to get everything else. And having the harvester in your main from the beginning is also pretty big. It feels like fast expanding is definitely something that you want to do on this patch, though. With the other changes they've made, anyway.
Yeah, they went harvester first. Two nourishing pods. So he's using the new guy. We'll get the augmentation pool as soon as this guy's done. Boom, boom. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Yeah, we'll fight for these. You better believe it, dog. Better believe it. That's what I thought. Well, especially since we're both growl, taking the attack speed has to be the play, right? Nice. Got him. No, I'm not trying to use my recall. Is that on accident? Oh, he used his recall. I see. Had to do it to him. Oh, 
plant gang led by Slug Fannius. You better believe it, dog. GG. Pretty good supply lead we were able to, but the start, it was close, and then it's all about just getting stuff out. I think I think for the Grell mirror especially, I really, really like the, the change they made to that passive because it's crazy strong now. The plus 50%, like, obviously getting the invisibility when you're on the Shroud is really nice. But having having the fifty percent attack speed increase is crazy. Having that as the alternate, it's like you either get the slow, either you get the poison slow attack, or you get fifty. You get adrenal. It's like ah, you either get a dot that slows, or you get adrenal. It is it is pretty nice. It is pretty nice. Yo, Ray Rain, did you see they gave us a Counter Strike Q menu? Did you see they gave us a Counter Strike uh, Q menu? You can queue all the modes and all the factions at the same time if you want. It's amazing. It's actually so sick. Yeah, Shroud is like, it's like creep, you know. It's the, the grassy stuff that you spread out. So your units turn invisible on it if you take the right talent. Random in SC2 is horrible. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Now you can play random without putting your opponent at a disadvantage. So that's kind of awesome. You can just queue all the matchups as much as you want. It's really nice. So he's Legion with the instant upgrades, right? It, Legion with Arandi. Arandi's the instant upgrade one. So we should expect him to probably probably play like the other guy. Very aggressively. Very in our face uh, kind of situation. Got them rhinos. Damn. What a crazy attack that was, huh? Is that the new thing? People with Legion just rush out. They just rush this out and kill you now. Is that the meme? Oh, those go up and down cliffs too. Holy shit. Oh, we might just be dead, right? It's kind of crazy. Yeah, I have no idea what we do against this. Holy shit. Building upgraded. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I don't know what you do here.
Oh, it won't even let me build it, huh? Yeah, it was stopping me from building anything. That was kind of crazy. Yeah, that was nuts, right? What an aggressive strategy. No, that's like super, super aggro, I think. We have to assume that he doesn't have as much stuff, though, right? Like, he probably is just expanding behind that if he was able to throw that much at us, so. Not super worried about it. Yeah, what's he going to do, right? He's probably just going to try and charge our base again. So I say we just pull back. I don't think he even cares about the tower. It's about what I thought. He's dropping all of his towers and stuff, huh? That's crazy, right? It's crazy how good those Rhino guys are, huh? The little towers that they can put out on the map are so hard to break. It makes it really, really difficult. Yeah, we're already so far behind, right? I just gotta be really greedy. I just gotta be greedy and get him to kill himself attacking me, more or less. I think that's my hope. I think that's my hope here. There's nothing I can do against that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Legion's really, really strong. I'm gonna have to like figure out probably something else to do against that, but I don't I don't really know what that is yet. The best way to learn is to just play the game a bunch, so I'm not gonna like assume anything. I'm just gonna keep playing, and if I keep playing against that guy or people that play like that, then What's going to happen is I'm going to lose likely until I find a way that works and then we'll start to win a little bit. And then once we get good at doing the thing that we need to do, then it'll be really easy to win. 
But right now, I don't really know what I'm supposed to do in that situation, so I'm still figuring it out. I guess the poison upgrade, the slow, would probably be better against the rhinos is kind of, kind of the impression I'm getting there. Because I'll never be able to engage him on the biomass, so the damage buff doesn't seem good. I wanted it defensively, but then I realized, like, the whole point is the map control that they have with that is crazy. The towers they can drop give insane map control. That's very hard to play against. That's tough. When they just spawn those, when they just spawn those things right outside your base, that is a, that is a pain in the butt. When they spawn the tower in your base is absolutely brutal. Yeah, they, they added more nodes into the main base. They also made it mine faster, so... It looks like your larva guys start to die off creep as well. All right, well, we're not seeing anything like crazy, so. I think I got him. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. I think I think we got a little bit of work done there. Not bad, not too shabby. Give me that eight percent movement speed, baby. Yeah, we want the biomass. We want the biomass for mirror matchup. It's very, very good. Enemy psychic. Oh, he's coming. Oh, I see. He teleported to my my creep. 
That was his plan. Well, he got me there a little bit, right? Got me there. Unit production complete. Production. If I had been able to take that fight like three seconds later, oh, that was good. It was a good move by him. It was a very good move by him. Where's my hero is what I need. Production is now idle. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Enemy in range. He's got so much. Building upgraded. That's what makes this really, really tough. Building up. Nay, hey, fight him on the creep because you got the attack speed bonus. Only on, only on creep, dog. It's only on creep. Let's get acid rupture for this. Enemy in range. Enemy psychic. Spawn is in danger. Spawn is in danger. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Enemy in range. Building upgraded. Enemy psychic. Enemy in range. Oh, there's the Moran tanks. There we go. 
Unit production complete. Production is now Unit idle. production complete. Production is now idle. Production is now idle. Enemy psyched. We're getting them all. Production complete. Production is now idle. Unit 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 production Enemy size now idle. I have no idea what's even happening anymore, bro. Uh oh, my mouse is gone. Oh fuck. Artifact captured. Okay, it's back. Enemy in range. Connection to the artifact. Enemy sighted. Enemy in range. Yeah, he's got them big boys out now. He's got them big boys out now. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Building up there. Damn. Yeah, we are absolutely cooked. He has so much stuff. I got my uh, my anti-ground guys probably just a little bit too late, right? Those mercenaries guys are really, really good. The hover tanks. GG. Well played. Is it like StarCraft? Yeah, yeah. You like make bases and units and you go out and fight people and stuff. Yeah, very similar. How many civs are available in the alpha? I think there's four different uh, factions, right? There's Grell, Protectorate, and Legion. And then I think there's, I think there's eventually going to be a fourth or something like that. I don't uh I don't follow that particular part of the game very uh very closely though. There's lots of great information out there. I have some links uh on my uh Twitch that go out to some of the stuff that they've been working on, but I don't have anything like that in the YouTube chat, I'm sorry. I would just search uh zero space. There's a lot of good information out there. You can get access to the alpha, I think same day they have it set up for people backing them. But again, information for stuff like that is going to be on their social media. So that's where you're going to want to check to see that stuff.
All right, we got a game. It's definitely an adjustment to get used to the the change like that, right? With the how the mercenaries work. Having it be off the town hall instead of a separate building. Yeah, we're just going to be playing this all day, hanging out. Thanks, guys. Love his smooth forms. I guess I guess it bugged. I'm hearing game sounds. I'm hearing I'm hearing things, but Yeah, I think my game crashed. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna alt F4. I'm just gonna alt F4. We'll just restart it. It's gonna be a little buggy, it's still an alpha. Starcraft with Heroes of the Storm objectives and upgrades. That is one way that you could, uh, that is one way you could generalize it, I suppose. Yes, yes. I didn't play much Heroes of the Storm, so unfortunately I can't really speak to that game very much. I'll let you know when we get into a game, guys. Thanks for hanging out. If you guys want to talk about anything, too, I'm also game for that. Otherwise, I'm just going to chill and grill. All right, we got a game. So this is another Legion Arandi. So this is a... So this play style, when they do this, maybe Chakra is just bad, right? Maybe we can't use Chakra. Do we use the Arandi? That seems... Let's just take the instant research because that, that just seems like it'll help stop the all-in, right? Because he's probably going to cheat. He's probably going to bust us, right? That's like... That's what Legion does. I think that's how Legion is designed. Like it's it's very it's very deliberately designed to try and kill you at the start of the game. I think. I think that's that seems to be the they're like the cheese race, right? Cuz they're just the first thing they always do is build a tower outside of your base and kind of block you in. So, I'm going to going to try going to try not to put myself in in too bad of a spot if I can manage it. So we'll just expand and go for like two base. Try to do something on two bases. The watching since pre-SC2 casting days. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. That's really nice of you. You can watch wherever you want.
Unit production complete. Production is now under. Yeah, but these guys are so these guys are so hard to fight against early on. Yeah, I say you just go directly into two, right? Yeah, no. Enemy psychic. I mean, that's what happens, right? They go for that big setup. They go for the big setup. They get all up in your face. He hasn't even he hasn't even made a move for the other one yet. complete I'm just trying I'm just trying not to completely blow it we'll try to take a third after this I guess Now the the best thing about the dam about that is the dot. The little bit of dot to kill them if they do get away, right? That is a huge deal. That's a huge deal. Yeah, see? And I left the healing guy behind. Production is not on 
Enemy in range. Nope. Got the hero. There we go, baby. There we go. What is going on there? Those A clicks look so jank on the base. Yeah, I feel like. I feel like when you try to click on the inside of there, they definitely struggle to get the actual melee range going. Like it's a little bit, it's a little bit tricky. They don't all hit the building. On one hand, I can see that they are kind of clipping inside of it and they probably want to limit. They don't want you to like be able to stack 20 of them inside the base to all have them hit at once. I'm guessing that's why it, it does that, but. Yeah, absolutely nuts. How did I like the Jets' free agency period? I, I think it's been amazing. I think it's been fantastic. Uh, we, we picked up three starting offensive linemen. We replaced like our whole offensive line, and we got one of the better uh, wide receiver prospects as well. Mike Williams is really good, but he has had, yeah, he's coming off of an ACL tear. So I think that our staff has done pretty well considering Brees' ACL tear and Aaron's, Aaron's Achilles. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking this was a really good, this was a really good free agency period for us. It was really, really good. Is this ranked? I'm playing an alpha game, David DW. I don't, I don't know, I don't know what exactly that means in this context. I think. It's like I, I still want to like I still want to like my my Grell boys, but I'm not sure. I'm not even sure if these guys are what I need anymore. I'm gonna try it one more time though. I do like the the passive extra XP for the units that die. It should help with the swarm stuff. I think this is the first game I'll be playing versus anybody protectorate. So this will be my first matchup versus a protectorate player. Yo, Ray Rain, thanks for the sub. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, Twitch ads suck. I feel you. I'm doing, you know, I'm doing, I do everything I can. I do everything I can to, to make them as not annoying as possible, but it's a, it's a necessary evil, as they say. I appreciate, I appreciate you. I hope you know that. Thanks, man. Yeah, I was just saying, I was just saying the Jets picked up three starting offensive linemen that are that are going to be a huge buff, huge 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 buff for our team. We also we picked up uh one of the one of the highest uh, free agency prospects for offensive line and wide receiver. They're both a little bit injury prone, so I'm still I'm still of the mind and the opinion that I would like I would like to see the Jets go for offensive line in the draft. I'd still like to see us take a tackle at 10. I think that would be nice or trade down if there's nothing really like good available, but yeah. But otherwise Mike Williams is a great player and a tremendous athlete. So I'm, I'm looking forward to having him, having him on the team. It should be should be a really good addition this year. What does Protectorate even go for, right? A 
that you took this one. I haven't really... I guess I can scout him with my guy, right? I can scout him with the hero. Or he'll reveal, he'll reveal what he's doing through him anyway. Enemy in range. Oh! I tried to teleport out. Too slow. Damn. Okay, well, we've each we've each traded one then. We've each traded one then. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. We're gonna get the poison sting. We'll get all our upgrades, we'll get everything set. It'll be great, it'll be great. It'll be fantastic. Everything's gonna be fine. Connections of the architects were still unit production complete. Production is now on. Production complete. Production is now on. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Unit production. I'm coming for you. Production is now idle. Oh, he's just, he's right there. No, we're going to pull him back. That's what we're going to do. Building upgraded. Whew. Oh, he's coming. He's got so much. Nourishing pod, good unit. Whew. Woo, baby. Enemy psychic.
Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Commander, we're detecting ships on an impact course with the planet. Tracking locations on your mobile. Enemy in range. Yeah, we're making his life hell. We're making his life hell. Oh, we absolutely messed him up. Absolutely. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Building up. Yeah, he can just, he's kiting really, really well, right? I just don't have, I don't have anything I can really do. I never got, I never got my production up to where it needed to be. So I think, I think we're just going to lose, right? We're just cooked. Oh, it kind of blocked it, too. It blocked the shot. That's not good. Yeah, I can't stop his rally. There we go, there we go. Whew. Bro. Bro has just been coming at me, huh? Just been coming at me. Yeah, these guys are all I got holding everything together. Shit's absolutely nuts. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Unit production complete. Production is now idle.
We'll get that special augmentation pool. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Do, 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 do. That's what I need. Let's take heal from sacrifice. No. No, that's not that's not what we're gonna do. Enemy in range. Enemy sight. Yeah, he just got crazy amounts of dudes. That's the problem. I don't have anywhere near the economy to match what he can put out. Reduction is now on Every time I try to get more production structures, I usually like fuck up and then I stop building my production structures and then I don't realize that I never made them. And once that happens, once that happens, I'm usually cooked. Oh, we got him. <laughs> Yo, that was sick. Ah, uh, I was like, he was pushing me. I was counterattacking. I think I got like one or two of the buildings by his natural, by his main, right? I got like two of his racks outside. That's intense. That's intense. That's very intense. I'm kind of curious. So the performance has been really, really good. By default, they turn off replay recording, though, which makes me curious as to how much performance impact it really has. So I'm going to turn that on, and then we'll see if the next game is significantly more or less laggy. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Oof. Delay between left click and attack move order. Units are on move command in between. So when you tell a unit to go to attack while it's moving, is this something that you want to be... Is this something that you would want to have lower or higher? I can't really tell just looking at it. I can't really tell just looking at it. What is auto drag scroll? Yeah, they have explanations for some of them. I think you go lower. 500 MS is insane. Yeah, I don't know if that's affecting my game, but it feels, it feels like I wouldn't want that, right? I mean, yeah, I don't know. Let's just see what 150 feels like. Okay, what I'm gonna do is <laughs> I'm gonna grab myself a bottle of water and I'm gonna run some ads so they don't pop up during the game, okay? I'll be right back, guys. I love you. See you in a sec.
You know what's crazy is we've already been going for like three hours today. That's actually the crazy part. All right, let's see. Let's see how the performance gets impacted by the replay recording being on. You're able to smoke normal AI. Ladder is sweaty. It is. It is. Three hours that flew by. Yeah, I know. I know. Three hours past like nothing playing this. Guys, I'm pretty much just streaming this as long as this phase is open for the alpha. This game is that good. Hopefully by the end of the year, we're just playing Stormgate and Zero Space. I'm hyped up. It's good times. When, uh, when we get into a game, you guys will see it pop up on the TV, so. Thank you, Bobby Tuesday, for the sub. God bless you, sir. Well met. What? Oh. Thank you, McDougal, for the $5. Dude, I agree. It's really nice. I, I thought it was fantastic. I, I thought it was really good playing the alpha back in January, but they have already stepped it up so much. Apparently, you backed the tier just below alpha entry. Lame. Well, you know, I do believe, according to the Discord... I've been posting in the Zero Space Discord a little bit. I've been super excited for this to come back the last week. But I do I do think they have the option for people to upgrade if that's what they want to do um on on the backer kit uh through their stuff. So I think if you I think if you look at their stuff you can upgrade your you can upgrade your your status or whatever to get instant access or they said same day access. I think they're still manually doing it, but if you if you want to get in, uh, I think you can. I think you can. You do have to back them to a certain tier on their Kickstarter, though. The 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 backer kit. Backer kit thingy, I think it's called. So the queue was a little bit longer. I think we've got our first high ping game today. Perfect. Doesn't get much cleaner than that. Happy Friday. How's the game updating it right now? Hell yeah, brother. It's good, man. It's good. I want to get some peeps together at some point, either this weekend or next week. We got to play. We got to play some 2v2. They added 2v2 this patch.
Oh, he's getting some units out. He's getting his boys. He's getting his boys. Artifact captured. Oh, there we go. Now we're cooking with gas. Get a little move speed buff. Little, little move speed. Yeah, yeah. Enemy in range. Enemy in range. None they all. I am the one who captures. I'm trying to get a little bit better on the upgrade situation. And get the infrastructure up. I want to get up to. I want to get up to five racks as fast as I can. Building upgraded. And I'm playing, Building playing upgraded. for map control, playing for keeps, playing for nuggets, man. Get the hell out! Wee! Here he comes. Well, this is where we have to do our thing correctly, right? Production complete. Production is now idle. I've got much more production than I normally would in this situation, so I think that's a good thing. And I got the slow ability, so yeah, yeah, yeah. No! Get him out! Ah! <laughs> Let's go! I got 700 Ooh. ping and I pulled it off! Whee! <laughs> oh, he's running! Yeah, that's right, boy. You better run. Mmm. See what I do though? Yeah, attacking buildings is still a little bit funky. It's a little bit funky. Do you guys see what I meant by the way when I was talking about the uh when I was talking about how I wanted to make sure that my Harvester standing by my five racks were up. I feel like I just haven't been building enough units the last few games and that's made it like crazy difficult, so Play of the day. Oh. I'm like, I want to get my, get to five racks, Nathan. Whatever it is that you think you need to do, get, get to five racks before you do that. Okay. And let's get everything. Let's get everything set up. Okay. We've got the money. Let's take that life steal. That's right. That's right. You know why? You know why? Because we balling. We are balling right now. Balling out of control. Juice him up. That's right. Give him those little little stinger nuggets. I can't believe how much better this is even just from January. This is nuts. 
This is really clean. It's really nice. I think I'm playing somebody in... I've got 180 ping. I actually have worse ping than playing Europe on StarCraft right now. And it actually feels less laggy, if you can imagine that. If you can imagine. I don't even... I don't even feel the full weight of the latency. One of them has a bomb. Just run it away, run it away. There we go. Oh, his tier two veterancy. He lost his veterancy unit. Nice. Whew, you got the money, you got the power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five racks is Zerg. Hey, man. If there's one thing I am never, ever, ever going to do from starcraft again it's it's play the play the politics play the politics tribalism game you know i'm done with that i'm done with that if you want to pay me to say that your race is underpowered the minimum fee is one hundred thousand dollars in ethereum otherwise f off i'll give you the cold wallet drop address okay and then I'll then I'll pretend to care about your balance. Yeah, I'll take a hundred thousand doge. Yeah, that's actually that's a non insignificant amount of money at this point. Sure, why not? Legion Arandi. So he's he's doing it again. He's doing the Legion the Legion Arandi. So what do I want for the early defense? Because I'm just gonna be protecting myself more or less. I, the instant research seems like it's pretty nice. Yeah, let's take let's take the instant research. I feel like we need it. I feel like we need it to defend against them, because it always it always turns into a huge attack with them building towers outside your base. But I think it's also possible. Oh, I haven't played this map yet uh, today. If I get up to that 5-rack setup against Legion, then maybe that ends up being what I need to, to get that defense that we were talking about. Yeah, they made it so you start with a little bit more income than on the previous build, so that was one of the better changes they made. So the game ramps up a little bit faster now. You have meaningful things that you can be doing while you're while you're out with this stuff anyway. And this one I have 50 50 milliseconds of ping it says, so that's cool. He just used his fireball. We're getting the racks count up. We're getting the racks count up. I'm not making the same mistake I did before. Hell no. Hell no.
We need the nourishing pods. Yeah, just let everything start. Let everything start. It's all good, bro. We are fine. Upgrade complete. Yeah, we get the instant upgrades. It's fucking sick. Excuse my French. With Galavax, he's gonna be trying to throw a big fireball onto my stingers. But if he if he doesn't land that, if he finds himself unable, then our, our lives do get easier, so. Oh my god, he's got so many melee dudes. Holy shit. Yeah, missing my Q there was pretty rough, huh? Yeah, he missed the fireball, thankfully. Get him. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Money's tight. I know. Okay, you don't need you don't need to remind me. Building upgraded. Did I get my medium incubator? I did, I did. You know what I haven't really been using though? That's definitely been hurting me. The the melee guys, right? Need a little more. What are my what are my guys I can get here? Weapon projectiles are slow but pass through all enemies. Uh, shade, deadly melee can pass through all units. Okay, yeah, that sounds good. They're just two hundred fifty. I tried to eat him and nothing happened. Well, that sucks. Damn. No, he's I think I'm smoked now, right? He's he's got everything. We are in we are in a tough spot. Upgrade complete. Production complete. Production is now idle. Well, I think I'm. I think as long as he doesn't kill this, you know, we're delaying it anyway. So. Enemy sighted. Production complete. 
Commander, production is now we're detecting threats on an impact course with the planet. Tracking all is in danger. All is in danger. Doesn't have that much, does he? No, okay. He's he's still in the process of like trying to take bases, more or less. Enemy in range. Yeah, he's got a lot of those obelisk guys everywhere. <sighs> Let's see. Yeah, let's just take the life steal because we get in prolonged battles. We're not getting that base again. It's tough when their their energy turns into permanent structures on the map. That's that's I think the hardest part. They're so hard to bring down. Yeah, Legion Legion is the one the one faction I just do I don't know I don't know how to play against Legion. They seem really, really good against Grell. I just don't I just don't know what exactly to do here. It's tough. It's tough with all the heroes and shit that they have. Yeah, I think I tried to consume like three times this game and it just, it don't, I don't think the, I think the ability is a little bit bugged. Sometimes it just doesn't work. Let's go next. Yeah, I like the Grell the best. I think they look I think they look really, really nice. I think design wise they're the they're the most interesting. Cause you basically have like two Terrans, right? There's like two Terran races and then a Zerg, so. Yeah, they have a real they have a lot of really nice special effects in this game too, I agree. They've done a lot. They've done a lot in the last few months. They've done a lot. Do I know about draw formation? Yeah, it's not something I've it's not something I've spent much time on though. And thanks again for the five sheet, uh, McDougal. Appreciate it, dog. We're just going to be playing this all day, probably at least another like five hours. So sit back and enjoy the ride. Oh, we got a game. So he's playing Legion with Dread Raiders. Maybe the faster buildings, 20% faster building construction. Maybe we're gonna try that. I'm just gonna keep trying different mercenary factions against Legion until I find one that works. That's my plan. That's my strategy. Did they push updates recently? Uh, the game, the game's been offline for like three months. They only just turned it back on uh, at nine o'clock this morning. But yeah, this, this game hasn't been available since uh, January. So that's probably what you're thinking about. That's probably what you're thinking about. Uh, it took it took his text a second to go through, I guess, huh? I'll see another day.
Buildings also block projectiles is something that I keep forgetting about is in this game too. And I'm trying to, trying to take advantage of that when I get the chance. Because that's obviously the kind of thing you can do a lot with. Unit production complete. Production is now on. Da, 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 da. Nice. Yeah, just your buildings constructing faster. That has to be. That has to be somewhat decent. It's got to be at least a decent option. Hell yeah. No, can't let you kill me. Sorry, bruh. Coward. Upgrade complete. Unit production complete. Okay. Him getting my hero there was brutal. Yeah, the lings, the lings are pretty good against the building straight up. The problem is the obelisks are like busted. Those things are crazy good. They are crazy, crazy, crazy good. But that's kind of that's kind of the awkward situation that you get put into here. Is taking this, taking this just becomes an absolute unadulterated nightmare if the army is near the obelisk. Cuz these things, these things deal enough damage to like one shot your infused grelings, so it's kind of annoying. Building upgraded. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Building upgraded. Unit 
Yeah, without his hero, I can kind of just pick his dudes pretty easily. What can I make that's going to be useful here? Heavy ranged units, pull units towards itself. Oh, the Towbot. The Towbot's a pretty good, pretty good armored, armored summon, I think. Yeah, I like the Towbot, actually. That's not bad at all. Of course, the one game, the one game I ever actually do this somewhat correctly, this is what happens to me. Absolutely brutal. Absolutely brutal. Building up. Well, I mean, we did just kill everything he has there, so that's not bad. But damn. Oh, there's gonna be mines, right? Does he have a bunch of mines in my base? Is that it? Yeah. He's just gonna have to tank it. Just tank it all. Well, that's what you get for not building those inside your main base, Nathaniel. Unit production complete. Production is I mean, acid rupture is just like almost too good not to take. It's kind of my opinion on it. Attack stronger hero? No, I don't want that, right? I don't know. Let's try it. Fuck it. Nope, absolutely cooked. So is, are those just thralls and dread raiders? Okay, so he, yeah, just a lot of marine type guys, huh? I don't think there's anything we can do anymore. Let me see if I can cancel my guys and get out some dudes. Let's see, I don't, I don't think the flame guy on his own is gonna be enough though, right? Probably not. That's what's so tough. I, I don't, I do not know how to beat Legion, man. They are so good. They are so good. So the faster buildings did not really seem like they helped, right? The faster buildings did not really seem like they did anything. So I'm thinking, I don't know what the best mercenary faction is. I don't know what the best mercenary faction is versus Legion. They just drop, they just drop all those towers right on top of you and they one shot all your dudes. So it's really, really difficult to play against. Oh, K. 
Katie sent me pictures of the pooch at work. Oh, she cleaned him up. She gave him a little groom. She gave him a little grooming. Glad you guys are enjoying the games. Thanks for hanging out. Okay, we got a game. All right, so this is the same guy. So the Valkyrie did not really do anything to defend it. I just don't know what, what actually even works here, right? Hover tanks? I'll go back to Chakru and we'll just try again, but... I'm at, I'm at a complete loss. I'm at a complete loss against the Legion guys right now. Do I just double expand, build nothing but Grellings? Is that it? Just try to go for some crazy, crazy eco cheese off of Stingers. Because he kind of just chilled until he could get two or three heroes, right? So maybe, maybe I just have to play really greedily. That might, that might be the strategy here. Because I just don't think he can kill me that fast. So I, I try to eco-cheese, eco-cheese, scale him. That might be, might be the move. I can't really think of anything else. I don't think I'm capable of winning against, uh, against a good Legion player at the moment. So I'm just going to try random shit until something sticks. Looks like I'm host for this game. There you go. Super greedy. Super greedy mode engage. What el what else is there to do? What else is there to do? If I try and if I try and match him, he's just gonna kill me. If I try and match him, he's just gonna kill me like he has every game, so don't I don't think that's viable. He's gotta play crazy greedy. Our spawn is in danger. Yeah, so sick, right? There's just like nothing you can do. Well, we're we're doing eco cheese anyway, so we're just chilling. I think that's think that's the only viable move we have. These bases will all start to slowly ramp up, and we'll try to get like maybe seven racks. I'll try to go like seven racks stinger, and we don't even go for any higher tier of tech. We'll just try and get a crazy number of units out. We can't fight them head to head. We can't really counterattack them because the obelisks are also in their own base. So I, I still don't have really have any idea, but I'm just going to try stuff. So we'll go for the upgrade building and then that will be basically the last that we need of that. Perfect.
There's nothing I can really do with the buildings either, because it's just more stuff for him to kill, right? He gets he gets money for everything he kills of mine, so the more I try to spread the creep, the more he's gonna get when he pushes me, so it makes it tough. Alright, here comes the all in. And we just try and protect this base basically, right? Nice. Yeah, he's so aggro. I can't think of anything that's going to work other than just making as much shit as I possibly can, so YOLO. YOLO! This is what he wanted, right? This is what he was- this is what he was pushing for. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Unit production complete. Production. What does that do? I haven't messed with that too much. That's the line formation, right? Unit production complete. Production is now on. 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 Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Unit production complete. Production is now Unit production complete. Unit production Production Unit production complete. Production is now on. Unit production complete. 
production is now idle. Production complete. Production is now idle. Oh, it's not done yet. I need money. Yeah, see, now that we've actually got a lot of production, we've we've been able to change change things a little here. Been able to change things a little here. Building upgraded. Oh shit. I need that upgrade to finish, man. Production is now idle. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Just stick it. Just stick it. YOLO. Enemy psychic. Isn't infusion complete? Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Here we go. I'm going to try and hold him off with my hero while I base trade him. I got a lot of nourishing pods here at least. I think we're having a pretty good game. 
Is this going to be Nathanius' first win versus Legion? Find out in 35 seconds on Dragon Ball Z. He's hanging in there, though. He is. He is. What do we want? Oh yeah. The tree of life. Enemy in range. I killed his main base by the way. We we cleared him out. We cleared him out. Unit production complete. All is in danger. Unit production complete. Production is now vital. Oh, he put all of his obelisk guys on top of my uh, my my tier three anti air unit dudes. That's what he did. He's trying to he's trying to bring down my my tier three air with uh, his obelisks. GG. Whoo! Feels good, man. Am I watching this game right? You build a building and it auto-produces troops instead of having to go back to macro? No, you are wrong. You are very wrong. You build units. That is how the game works. The builders, the builder units, are automatically produced, but it's kind of like larva. Imagine larva, but for buildings instead of for units. That's kind of how the Grell works. So the, the big flowers, the main bases, they spawn. They spawn the little guys that go create the buildings. But the units themselves come from buildings. It's not, it's not like Zerg. So the only, the only units that the game auto-builds for you are the, the guys that create structures. But you're, you have a limited amount of them if you're not playing Grell. So for Grell, I think you get a new one every like 15 or 20 seconds, or maybe it's 30 seconds. And then um, Protectorate and Legion both get, they both have builders that they get for free that spawn when you make a new base. So they can only have like three builders at a time. But I think, I think they don't have to build them. You just place the buildings like Protoss style. But that's kind of how it works for all the human factions, at least that I've seen in the game so far. So... Yeah, no, there's no traditional workers for uh, minerals. There are traditional workers uh, for gas, though. So that's kind of how that's kind of how this game is designed. It's a little bit less. It's a little bit less harass your workers. Like there's these. You'll you'll see that there are these little patches around the base, and those are your mineral gatherers. So instead of workers, you have buildings, and it automatically produces the buildings over time. So the idea is that you can't just transfer like a full saturated worker line to a new base. When you take a base, the base automatically scales up on its own until it until it builds extractors over all of the mineral patches. So that's that's how the game is designed. You can target. You don't have to kill the base. You can just destroy the extractors. The extractors do turn off if the base is destroyed. So you can still harass their economy if that's what you want to do. You could just try and make, you could just try and do types of attacks that allow you to, you know, land really big hits uh, or something like that, um, like onto those extractors. But usually it's better to just play for map control and get away, yeah. Unlike SC2, this game takes away a lot from worker harass as being a focus. Well, no, not really. Uh, the Vespine, the gas resource, the special resource is actually more exposed 
than StarCraft. So in StarCraft 2, every base, you're just given the resources, right? In this game, you're not really given the resources. Like the minerals scale up, but the gas, all the gas is out on the map. So if you want to take gas, you have to make harvesters that go out on the map and mine it. So just to be really clear, you don't have workers for minerals. You do have workers for gas. That's like the number one thing I try to drill in there. There are still workers to harass. They're just out on the map. So map control is really big in this game. Map control is really, really big in this game. So if you want to play a worker harass style, you can. That's very viable. You get resources for killing workers, and obviously destroying their workers opens up the opportunity for you to go get those resources. So there's a lot of different ways that you can try to leverage whatever type of strategy that you want to do. How do you get access to the alpha? Uh, check out... Check out their backer kit. I would just search zero space backer kit. It might be linked. It might be linked above in the, the link I have on the pinned chat. I'm not paid or sponsored by them. I just play this game because I like it. I don't, I don't have a bunch of stuff offhand ready to give you to take your money. Go check it out, though. It's really good. I would definitely try it. Do the towers in the map give you any resources? So there are experience towers. Yeah, if you take the tower, as long as you have control of it, you gain a little bit of extra EXP. So all that does is level up your top bar uh, abilities to get your talents. So as you, as you progress throughout the game, you get talents that permanently give you buffs for the rest of the game. Eventually, once you go through the whole talent tree, you can pick other ones from this from different trees and you restart at the top. And that's that's how the talent system works. It's very convoluted. It's very convoluted and, and very complex. And there's there's a lot. There is a lot to the game. So I would strongly encourage you to go to go do a little bit of digging, because ev even if I did try to answer every question you have, it's highly unlikely that I can because I, I will run out of breath. There are so many things. There are so many things. And yeah, now we're back to about 190 ping, it looks like. But it's still not that bad. StarCraft 2 150 ping feels worse than this. You love that there's a nature faction? Yeah, me too. Take take bases, get up to three bases, get up to seven racks, and just start cranking out zerglings. That's it, man. That's the way. Dun, dun, dun. Who is this paladin looking chick, huh? Damn, I ain't seen her yet. Oh, she did kill my guy too. With each attack, she gains 10% movement and attack speed. Well, fuck me, I didn't know that. Damn. We might have already lost. We might have already I'm just gonna GG, right? Should I? I'm thinking about it. I got 200 ping and I just lost my hero. I do think we're fucked, completely fucked, but I'll hang in there just for you guys. I have a feeling you probably don't want me to leave the game yet. I just want to say it out loud so you guys think I'm so you guys know why I'm why I'm going to drag this one out. We'll try it. We'll try to make it happen. We are doing our three base into mass unit thing. So, as long as as long as they do that thing where they play crazy hard for map control, we might be okay. We might be okay. 
Yeah, it looks like she has a stun, but I didn't realize she's like Aurelia. Yeah, if you ever played League of Legends, it's like leaning against Aurelia. That being said, I think if you offered me a million dollars to win against an Aurelia with 200 ping as a mage, there is no way, no way on God's sweet earth I'd have a chance. So I think, I think that we are already in that kind of awkward situation where we're just, we just kind of have to turtle until our economy kicks in for our production. Yeah, we'll try to, we'll try to defend, I guess. We have detected I'll cancel building those guys so we can get the rest of the production up faster, or at least try. Yeah, Paladin bitch is absolutely gonna ruin our day, though. Yeah, we're probably... Are we already dead? Probably, huh? Oh my god. Yeah, well, whatever the character that is... That character is strong AF. Building upgraded. She has shields too. Oh, that's crazy. Upgrade complete. Building upgraded. Oh, it keeps canceling it while I, while I click on the other units. Hopefully we can make it out of our base soon. The, the the latency is gonna make it really, really hard though. I just gotta get really lucky, jump on top of him and kill everything all at once. If I can pull that off, if I can pull that off, then I think we'll be okay. Production is now idle. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Oh my god, is it lagging so bad that he disconnected? Sometimes it'd be like that. You're not one to balance wine. Well, then don't, right? Easy. What the hell? All right. Looks like about two minutes of the game just played without me here. Yeah. I don't think it's possible for us to win if that's going to happen to us. Let's go next. Hi, Nathan. Hey. What's up, gorgeous? Happy Friday, handsome. You like my playlist? Thanks, bro.
You wish you could select all builders with just F1 and not control F1 for Grail specifically. I, I don't I don't even think I understand what you're what you're talking about. I just have uh, select builder on one of my mouse buttons, and I just press that button, and it selects a builder for me. That's how I do it. All right, we got a game. All right, this looks like we're against Protectorate, so this will be a little more straightforward. I love that I finally get a win against a Legion player, and then I immediately play a Legion player that does something else I've never seen before. It just completely, completely craps on me. That was, that was nasty. Nasty. And they gave him a Super Saiyan Paladin, bitch. How, we don't, we still got it. We only got one hero. All we have is Grell hero. Where's my Grell, where's my Grell Paladin, bitch? What's going on? Come on, guys. She doesn't even have carapace made out of high heels. Oh, is that the one? Did I turn the fancy one into the cultivator on accident? Probably. That sounds like something I'd do. Man, I'm getting some really laggy games, too. I guess most, probably just mostly Europeans playing right now, huh? There she is. There she is. Yeah, see, he's going paladin chick too. Yeah, he just finally took that one. It looks like they did add a gas to the inside of the base on some of the maps, though, so that's nice. Yeah, we're going to do fajitas and margaritas tonight. I was telling Kate, I was like, you know, babe, <laughs> I was like, you know, babe, after they after they announced that they were getting rid of the only thing in that patch they announced that I was really excited about for StarCraft, I was like, babe, I'm just going to take this week easy. Zero Space starts on Friday. We're going to be grinding that for a whole month, so I'll take you out. We're going to go get a nice dinner. <laughs> and next week's going to be fantastic. I'll be reading the Discord quite a bit this weekend, looking for how people are dealing with... Uh, with the Legion, the Legion of Doom. I think with the 200 ping, I don't think I can out micro the Paladin bitch. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be tough. So tough. It's gonna be so tough. I just need to get out a crazy amount of units, right? That's it. It's the only way this is gonna work. Did I just cancel a bunch of stuff? I feel like I did. Unit production complete. Unit production is now idle. Production is now idle. Love. 
Damn, look at him go. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. That's just never gonna build, probably, I guess. Production is now idle. Unit production. The way the buildings look gives you brood war vibes. Yeah, it's nice, it's nice. They got some heft to them. They got some heft to them. Production, production is now idle. Production complete. Production is now. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Love his Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Love his Oh, see, I tried to eat one of my guys. It didn't work again. I think I think that's game. I can't micro against this unit with the amount of ping that I have. Sorry, guys. I will play. I, I'll play. I won't be mean. I won't BM. I won't say anything. I won't say anything mean to my opponents. I just want you guys to know I do not think I'm capable of beating that with, with a ping difference like that. If I have, if I get a better ping and I'm against somebody playing that style, I think we'll be able to do a little bit more, but I just want to set your expectations. If you see that I have 200 ping, just lower, lower your expectations to a loss. That's all. As long as you guys don't think I'm going to win or put weird pressure on me, I'll, I'll play the games out, but I just want to let that be known. I absolutely cannot do shit against that. I'll let you guys know when we get another game. All right, looks like we got a game. It's another Legion boy. 
Okay, it looks like we got Protectorate, so should be another reasonable game. Should be a reasonable game here. That Chakru feels pretty useless. I don't know what to, I, I really don't know what else to try for their early game stuff. I don't know what really mixes in well with this. Maybe the hover tanks. Just getting a few. Because the instant upgrade side of thing is nice too. I guess I, I guess I don't have a choice this game. Yeah, I think I think the other hard part is still just having one hero, right? That makes it really difficult. I don't have an option to pick somebody that isn't squishy, so that makes it really hard. I am host this game, so this should be a lot easier. Zero ping. That makes that makes it a lot easier. Nobody was giving me shit anyway. It's just frustrating for me because I'm having a lot of fun playing the game. The the super the super high ping games are just a little tilting. Thank you for letting me vent that out. I appreciate that. Enemy psychic. I'm having a lot of fun, but Jesus, please don't give me your strongest battles. Thank you. He is aggro. Well, I couldn't save him, but you know what? I did get his hero too, so I guess we got that going for us. It is it is tough. It is tough to fight. It is tough to fight early. Tracking locations on your map now. At least I got an even trade out of that one. That's how you keep them from taking your tower. You just run over to theirs. Now, what would I want against those guys since they're kind of armored, right? What would I want there? Just the warriors? Unit 
Unit production. Production is now on Unit production complete. Oh, Andy's on that too. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Mm. Oh, he pulled my guy over there somehow. That's bad. Yeah, I don't think there's anything we can do here, right? It's just a lot of armored guys. Well, here, this is a this will be a great example of a of a replay to look at though, because now I'm just curious how many bases he had, right? We didn't really we didn't really get to see them there. Find it interesting how Nate focuses on the map objectives here, but in Stormgate he ignored them. Well, the, the map objectives in Stormgate really suck. Like, they're super boring and uninteresting. Like, two XP towers that give you a little bit of vision and control key areas is much more interesting than we're going to put a bunch of random units around all the corners of the map so that if you don't get them, you're, like, punished. Like, you know? I have, I have absolutely zero interest in the way that the creep camps work in Stormgate. I find it a lot more interesting in this game. Mostly because it's not shoved down your throat to the same degree. What was the map we just played? Was that Star Sand or Swamp Fever? I think Swamp Fever. Let me see. Is this the guy I just played? Right? Yeah, yeah. Let's see. What 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 does he do? Does he just go CC first? Is that it? Yeah, that's exactly what he does. Okay. I figure with the new economy, people are going to play very differently, so this is good to know. We could put on 2.0 speed. Yeah, so he just goes CC first, right? Yeah, so he just went command center. He went. He had. He had an even faster expand than I did. So I guess what I would have to do in this situation is actually, actually go and double hatch first was the correct move. I think. I think that was the correct move, right? Because there's not. There's nothing I can really do to him this early on, because his units are better than mine until I have a lot. 
But his econ- I wasn't even ahead on economy at any point. I wasn't even ahead on economy at any point. It's a, I, I assume that he just rushed up to tech and pushed me and never stopped attacking and expanded behind it, but he actually just went really greedy, so it's good to know that. It's useful information. Looks like we have got another Grill opponent. He's playing a Rondi, though. So we could do maybe... Yeah, maybe we just go Chakru then. Chakru is pretty good for Grell Mirror, I think. I think, anyway. I was going to say, cultivators are only five minerals, so. Yeah, we just wait till all the bases start, and then we'll be good. No. Do what I tell you to do. That's it. That's the only option. There you go. We'll see how he tries to push it against us here. Oh. oh shit, man, he was ready for that, huh? Look at that push. Look at that push. Yeah, we got nothing, man. We got nothing for that. That's my racks, bro. Just killed my racks. It's not good. So I guess I probably could have put that inside my main base. That's fair. That's fair. That's reasonable. He doesn't have too much, though, so I think we're okay. It's not too bad though. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. 
Building upgraded. Oh, he's yeah, he's right there. Oh, he's got the upgrade too. Oh, he took instant upgrades, right? That was his whole thing. That makes sense. That makes sense for the way he's playing. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Unit production complete. Production Yeah, he didn't even take the other one. Production is now idle. Enemy in range. Building up. Jeez, it's tough. It's tough out here, boys. I couldn't save it. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. I wish there was more to do with the larva guys. Now that you get so much money, now that you get so, it feels like you get more of them, but there's not really anything that you can do with them. It's going to be really hard without the hero, so we just got to kind of deal, right? Unit production complete. No, production is now idle. Are the crabs actually attacking? I can't really tell. Building upgraded. It's never going to build it. No, come on. Man, I, I queued that building up like three minutes ago. It feels bad, man.
Unit production complete. Production. Unit production complete. Unit production complete. Production Finally got the medium incubator. Production is now on. Oh, they're all air guys, huh? Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Our spawns in the fusion ready. So he built a bunch of mercenaries that uh, shoot up. I think I need the warrior guys, right? I just have no money. I have zero economy anymore. It's brutal. Yeah, I can't. I can't really do anything against the air guys, huh? Yeah, they got floating, floating wizards. Unit production complete. So I guess against this, like, what can I even do? Phoenix Guard, it moves faster. What does it do? I don't know. I don't know what it does. That makes it very difficult for me to play around it, unfortunately. I'm just going to try and make the only anti-air guys that I can. I'll try to get as much Chakra Warrior dudes as we can. Yeah, he's got way more economy than us, right? He's got the whole map kind of locked down. Oh yeah, look, he's already ready to go for my base too. Yeah, what am I gonna do, right? What do I do here? I still don't have enough money to make units. I just gotta... I think I think we lose, right? I guess I lost on the build order because I didn't know that his guys were all air. I just don't have anything that can attack them. That's the problem. Yeah, right? There's just not- no, these guys have- even with all the healing pods, it just shits on me. That's nasty. Yeah, I have no idea. I have no idea what you can do against that. I guess if I- if somebody goes for that, I'm gonna assume that their plan is to go air. So, my greed kind of worked, but I guess just stingers isn't gonna really be functional in this matchup, huh? That was definitely- that was definitely a really difficult game. He didn't have any units on the ground at the end. He just he just dumped out a, a bunch of uh, a bunch of those air guys. I just didn't I didn't even know that they were air units. The way that they look, they don't look like they're uh, flying. They kind of look like they're they kind of look like high templar almost. You know, like they float a little bit, right? They float a little bit, but I I didn't realize that they were literally air units. It feels like Chakru just sucks now because it's all melee. I don't I don't know what would be good though. I have no idea. I think you just have to go double hatch first. And then... Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. What would I make if I wasn't going to make the stingers, though? That's the real question. Don't really like Harbingers. I could play Turtle. I could just play like Turtle style, right? And try to go into uh, the Behemoths. Those guys are pretty good. I think the last thing I want to do is Turtle, but I 
if I can't use units that go out on the map, then I can't go out on the map, right? So if I can't go out on the map, then I need to be in my base. So I have to change my entire strategy if that's what it's gonna if that's what it's gonna take. But if you can't take map control with Zerglings, then there's no point in making Zerglings, so. Yeah, that's what I thought, son. That's what I thought, son. Get as many as I can. Just get as much production as I can. Apparently, Chakru crab range is bugged. Oh, the crabs are literally not working? Okay. That see, see, at first I thought my strategy was just like really bad, like they nerfed the shit out of it. And then it was like, oh yeah, okay. Well, if, if the crabs are bugged, then that's that helps. Cause I I was if you guys were watching, I assume if you're I assume you were watching if you're listening to me right now, but I I had the I had the crabs. They just they looked like they just weren't doing anything. Like they kind of just they kind of just derped out. So that was unfortunate. No. Production is now on. Supply. Now that's that's a very fair. It's very fair. I'm taking this first. I can wait. Unit production complete. Production. Unit 
Production Production is behind. No. Put it there. Just trying to keep the insane amount of pressure on, that's like everything. Nice! When you can get up in their face, like that's that, that, that seems to be what's working best. Going really fast three base. You couldn't do fast three base on the last build because it was really difficult to secure it since the base is ramped up a little bit more slowly in terms of economy. But on this version of the game, it appears that it's a lot easier. On this version of the game, it appears that it is a lot easier to get a huge amount of uh, economy early on. So it's a little more, I think they made the economy a little more StarCrafty. It's a little bit easier to take the fast bases and balloon it up. But if, it feels like trying to do any kind of harass-based opener or like expand into harass does not seem really good. I think, I think it's, you gotta kinda zerg it. You gotta zerg it and stay a base ahead. It's kinda the vibe I'm getting. When you get enough of them to surround, that's huge. But it looks like all of these guys fly. Like, they're, they fly. The, the dudes with the helmets and the little shadow guys. So, that was the biggest thing that caught me off guard going against those. They're crazy. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you're having a nice day. Happy Friday. Just playing Zero Space and hanging out today. I'll let you know as soon as we get into a game.
We got one, boys and girls. So we got Dread Raider Protectorate. Let's get it. What was I doing before? What was I doing back in January? I think I was... I think I was doing, like... I was going up to... I was trying to get to the Rageborn really, really quickly. Right? I feel like that was... I feel like that was basically it. I wish it would only select idle builders, though. That's what I'd like. I'd like idle builders. It does have the ability. I do have the possibility to accidentally do the wrong one, so that's that's the only it's the only thing that's a little tricky. Thank you for the sub, Adam Faith. Appreciate it, bro. Well met. Happy Friday, dude. Damn, he got me. That time to kill is nuts. Did we start our bases though? No, no, no. Okay, just wait. Just wait then. We can't play the game for about another minute and a half, so we're just going to chill. I think we can almost make our first incubator. There we go. Yeah, for some reason, the guy I made, this little guy, he was supposed to go over to my uh, hero so I could heal, but he didn't. I could look at, I'll look at the replay after this game and I'll try to see what happened, but he just didn't go where he was supposed to. That's really, that's really about it. Oh shit, he's just hunting me down. Whoa, he like totally caught me there. How did he... Huh. Alright, we just don't get to play the game. That's fine. Let's just play really, really greedy like we already are. This, this is it. That's why we did this. There's very little, very little you can really do on the map with, uh, with Grell, unfortunately. They just, you just don't have any map control at all. I guess the stingers were probably considered a bit OP in the last patch, so I guess they just nerfed them a lot. But I don't think I don't think we can leave our base at any point. So Yeah, we just chill. Once I can get the upgrade building, we'll get the upgrade building. We'll try to go to 7 racks and then do something, but until I get those 7 racks, I don't think there's too much we can do. All right, 2 and start. One more here. Yeah, I just turn that into a turret, right? I don't think I have. I don't think I can do anything else. Building up, ready. Yeah, we'll put a little heal guy there since that's gonna probably be necessary. Six. Well, six could six could be enough. Let's get one more just to be safe. Oh, well, he's just gonna push us, right? We gotta turn that into a turret then to survive. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Yeah, when he when he jumped me on the high ground over here, he couldn't see me. There was nothing there. That was uh that was wild, right? Production complete. Production is Unit production complete. Production is now complete. 
Building upgraded. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Unit production complete. Nope. Love has overformed. Unit production complete. Production. How's the game comparing to other games? It's a pretty good game. Welcome to the stream. Unit production complete. Production Unit is now production idle. complete. Production is now idle. Unit production complete. Production All right, we'll try to go back around this side again, see if a little flanky, flanky poo can do anything here. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Yeah, look at that. Just killed all of his stuff. Unit production complete. Production is now on. Enemy sighted. Unit production complete. Unit production. Building up. Unit production is now idle. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. For too long. Well, that was that was unfortunate that that just happened that way. Enemy in range. Our spawn is in danger. Unit production complete. Unit production is now on. Production is now Enemy 
Enemy psychic. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Do these guys attack air? None of these guys can attack air units, right? She. What do I make that shoots air? Durable effectiveness of healing for nearby units. Okay, weavers it is. Weavers it is. Let's get some tanky boys, I guess, on top of that. Oh. Unit production complete. Ooh. Production is now idle. Connection to the artifact is severed. Yeah, some of these guys aren't responding to the attack move command. Production complete. Production is now There we go, baby. Whew. This huge thing is like a mama broodlord. Indeed. Indeed. Ay, ay, ay. That was... Oh, man. You tell me you watch a game like that. Tell me you watch a game like that and not, not see a little bit of that magic, right? Like, that's... That was that was nuts. He was in my face. I felt like I felt like there was so little I could do, and I just tried to scrappily kind of counterattack. Somehow my counterattack almost killed his base. I was able to take down some of his production. I even got all the way inside of his main. It was that was crazy. That was crazy. I, I am curious though, what openers are people doing? I want to see what he did too. I kind of want to watch the openers that people are doing, because then I think that's gonna help me learn probably faster than anything else. It's just seeing what other people do. Obviously, we know what I did. But let's skip ahead a little. Was this a straight up FE from him? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, he went Rack's supply platform up the front. I'm probably going to take a quick quick couple minute break after this game guys we've been live for five hours we've already been on for five hours today just been playing a ton of zero space just trying to get a get a feel for the new patch get a feel for the new build we're going to be playing this for the next month 
a lot. We're going to be playing a lot of this for the next month. Yeah, so it was a two racks opener, huh? How far ahead can we go? Can I drag it? No, it's kind of like SC2, right? We got to let it play out, I guess. It looks like you have to click on the mini-map to move the camera, though, on the spectator. That's the only thing. GG, thank you, thank you. Yeah, that game, this game was crazy. This game was crazy. So he went two racks, and then he expanded. He had a harvester on the outside instead of the inside, which is always interesting. He went for the North Tower. He did insta-kill my hero, right? He killed mine very, very quickly. But just being crazy greedy seems to be really strong. Grell Hero is not too bad defensively, I think, because of the consumability and the ability to teleport home. So I just constantly try to poke with the Grell Hero and then send everything else to a different position and see if that can buy me time. Oh yeah, what was going on here? Was this? I just got. I got absolutely wrecked. On, oh. Okay. I'm gonna send. Uh, I'm gonna send a bug report in. The game did just crash. I'm gonna take a quick two minute break, guys, uh, while it reboots. I love you. I'll be right back. <laughs>
All right, we're back. Hey, everybody. I uh, just went and downed a fistful of peanuts. High protein, low carb, decent energy. We've got hours left today to kick some ass. So let's do it. Let's do it. <clears throat> I got to get my Friday playlist on, too. Hell yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, nuts are awesome and they do they are, indeed. Indeed. What happened to PF? Oh, the planetary? It barely survives. The battle cruiser comes back in time to save it. Straight up Avengers Endgame level. I know, I know. It is incredible. You're right. It's astounding. Truly astounding. I was just so excited about this coming out. I missed playing this. They uh, they turned the Stormgate beta off. I tried to play StarCraft again, and I just went I just went back to getting just went back to getting cheese nonstop. Man, it's rough over there. It's rough over there. Happy ending. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You know, they I try I try to call them highlights for a reason. I, I'm not I don't go out of my way to give you the low lights, but I I suppose that is also possible. But the hero just, that, that buys you all the time you need for the early game. That's what the hero does. I don't think I've had a super funny fail in a little bit. I thought that was just my normal stream experience. You know what's crazy though? This also looks astounding with the NVIDIA RTX HDR. This game looks really, really good. I do have my, ob my OBS set to only send you guys uh, rec or sRGB, but if I... I, I know that YouTube's YouTube is gonna start letting people upload or stream in HDR. I don't I don't think Twitch will ever allow that. So I I think technologically I'm just gonna be limited and unable to do that because of Twitch. But for some of the stuff that I record, um, I should be able I should be able to do some HDR. So it'd be kind of fun. I've been using Nvidia's AI powered HDR stuff for the last uh, last week or two. It works really really nicely. Yeah, yeah, I knew you were gonna do that. You see, that's the whole point. That's actually the whole entire thing, though. Can't imagine what games look like with HDR. Dude, it's... The thing is, the thing is, I'm gonna tell you, Ray Rain, I, I am a super nerd, and my understanding of HDR is that it is mostly just cranking the brightness when it's poorly executed on uh, on some stuff, but 
there are ways that you can calibrate it. Specific, specifically, NVIDIA's AI HDR tool is really nice because it uses the, the information that the monitor gives the computer for the information to kind of base it off of. But I find, I find that I have the brightness on it lowered quite a bit. But you can basically just use it to get the extra range of the colors rather than rather than the brightness aspect of it. So that's that's kind of how I've been using it. But I have not actually I have not actually had had any uh, had the brightness issue because I keep it at the minimum. I keep everything close to the minimum. My my settings are calibrated for uh, 100 to 200 nits. 200 nits when I'm streaming because I have bright lights on in the room and I can't see my screen if I don't. And 100 nits when uh, I'm watching a movie, you know, or I'm just getting baked playing League of Legends at 2 a.m. with the lights off. I'm a man, you know. I do that. That's what that's what freedom that's what freedom is to me sometimes. You know, but I I, I the the brightness issue is definitely one thing. Eventually, we'll have better monitors available for people, and this problem will start to solve itself. But. I really like it because of the expanded color range. It does. That is the most noticeable thing. My my com my monitor supports uh, like 93% DCI P3, so that's that's somewhere like 200 or 100 120 something percent sRGB. So basically, basically my monitor can show a lot more than sRGB, even though it can't get bright enough to do HDR properly, even though it doesn't have zones for its colors so those are all those are all a bunch of reasons why it's not a good hdr monitor but it does support the extra colors so the nvidia rtx hdr uh that can be specifically calibrated not to raise the brightness if you don't want it to some guy some guy actually made a post do you guys remember that post i told you about some dude made a post with all the info and i used that to set it up and i was like this guy's a genius NVIDIA actually updated the driver this week and used his guide as their new reference for where their thing would be. Crazy to think about. Crazy to think about, right? Building dude just straight up, dude just straight up gets to be in the patch notes for a fucking graphics driver after he put up this crazy in-depth review of how to get the color settings to the right nits and paper white, no matter what your monitor's native uh, brightness was. So some dude actually did just put together a huge guide. They implemented it into the next update and it's it's a lot better now too. They made it a lot better. Get the hero. Building up. It's a little bit finicky. I think you have to only be using one monitor for it to work, but it's still, it's part of like the, the beta, if you guys haven't heard, but Nvidia is replacing the control panel after 500 years. So this is, it is a big deal. It is, it is. So I've been testing, I've been testing that out, but there's, there's a bunch of cool new snazzy stuff, bunch of cool new snazzy nerd stuff. Unit production complete. Production is now on. Unit production complete. Production is now on. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Yeah, but all, all of the only thing I've really noticed today is that I just haven't been using mercenaries as much. Probably because I don't have a dedicated hotkey for it. I'm like forgetting about it, sort of. But I, I also, also feel like they're not as good. The specific ones that I've liked, anyway. He's got a lot of idea conduits to keep his guys regening. I think we've kind of figured out that those armored dudes are very strong. 
So we we play around map control. Production is now idle. I think we play around map control, but Well, he's going to try and push us really hard, but things aren't like that tough. I do have a behemoth too, so worth pointing out. Damn. Never mind. Legion is good, bro. That's tough. It is tough. It is tough to fight that that mass melee setup. I still have not figured that out. I had a lot of static defense and healing guys, but I do not believe I do not believe that uh, that was enough, right? I put out a lot. I put out a lot of defenses, but it was not even close to enough. Not even close. I think instead of building the air units, I I think I overestimate the behemoths. They're not very they're not very good. I guess they nerf them a bunch, but the behemoth the behemoth just kind of seems like it sucks. What I need to do is instead of making those, I just need to dump the equivalent amount of money into. I just need to dump the equivalent amount of resources into the other unit, right? That's got to be that's got to be the way that they want you to do it. Just like a mercenary, I got to find one. What's the verdict? Stormgate or zero space? Both. I like them both. Yeah, siege unit. I hate siege units, though. Siege units are boring, man. I want to get out on the map. I want to get out on the map. If I can't get out on the map, I don't want to play the game. That's my opinion. You don't have to share it. That's just how I feel. If you don't like going out on the map, that's fine. I don't care what you want. The same way that you don't care what I want. If the only way for me to play this game is to build a bunch of turrets and sit, put my hands under my ass and sit there, I'm not going to want to play the game. It's got to be a little bit of both. Oh, yeah, see, she sniped my snack pack. She sniped my snack pack. Unit production. Hmm, yeah, she used her little engage ability on me there, too. Thought I started my incubator, but it looks like it never did. It's unfortunate. I think this person is Growl, too, though. Yeah. 
Yeah, I like Stormgate and Zero Space. We don't do gatekeeping or tribalism here. We don't do that. They fix some of the bugs. Yeah, I mean, I think it's just much better. It's much better. It's much smoother. It's much smoother. It's much cleaner. They've made they've made a lot of progress since the last build. I think they've I think they've made tremendous tremendous progress since the last build. This game this game has come a very far way since January. And it looks it looks really nice too. Production is now idle. Unit production complete. Production is Building upgraded. Unit production complete. Production so many harvesters. That's all of them. My brother in Christ has all the harvesters he's allowed to build in the whole fucking game. Just grinding on that patch. He's crazy. Yeah, he doesn't have anything. Yeah, bring them back. Yeah, get that rich, get them rich resources, bro. Enemy in range. Enemy psychic. Oh, well, got the cancel at least. I don't really know if that means or does anything in this game, but I like it. I like it. Yeah, let's fucking go, bro. Enemy in range. Building up range.
Unit production. production. Absolutely crazy. What can I get mercenary wise here? That's what I need. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Cocoon. Friendly units are healed, enemy units are stunned. Okay. Unit production complete. Can I make anti air guys? I don't think so. Enemy psychic. Oh yeah. Building upgraded. Oh shit, my mouse is gone. Fuck! And my mouse keeps disappearing. Oh, that sucks. I thought we were in a somewhat good spot, but my I couldn't click on anything. I swear we try to desperately hold on one more time. Oh, well, that's a horrible bug. That's a horrible bug. I wonder if that's the drag scroll bugging out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I use the Weaver ability, the Weaver, the Weaver is bugged. Oh my God, the Weaver makes your mouse disappear. That's what's happening. God, the mouse! This ability is so useful, but it breaks my game. The ability is so useful, but it breaks my fucking game. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. It's crazy. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Unit production complete. Production is now Unit production complete. Do I have enough income? Unit 
If the if the if the icon if the cursor didn't disappear every time I tried to cast an ability, this would be it would be easier. It would be a little bit easier. Commander, we have detected atmospheric reentry. Yeah, he's trying to counterattack here. He's, he's he's got this is it. This is his move, right? Yeah, we just gotta go. Who's the who's the anti armor guy? Tobots? We just get a Tobot here, is that it? Oh, he killed my Tobot. That's unfortunate. I have these. I mean, I could just make the same thing he's making, I guess. Where is my hero? God, it's just nothing but the Chonky Boys. Oh my God. Nah, man, I just can't. I got so, I got so messed up from the thing, from the, the bug out on the UI, I haven't. My brain, my brain shut off, man. I can't do it. That's it. I'm cooked. I don't even know what I can do here. Can I get more, more Tobot guys? Are those, are those gonna help? Is there anything? Is there anything? Anything? Yeah, I guess not, huh? Oh, she's T-posing. Okay, the Tobot actually does appear to kill stuff. That's good to know. kidding me he's got mind control oh okay it's not permanent building up did it i did it <laughs> oh my god oh oh rick oh i need a cigarette after that i don't even smoke oh shit oh <laughs> Oh, <laughs>
I love how the game just turned into he had three giant crabs in my base. I just couldn't kill them. He just had he just had three giant crabs. My whole strategy boiled down to like the map is so open that I thought to myself, well, if he tries to attack me with giant crabs, then I base trade him with like 50 lings. And it worked, right? I killed everything he had. I did. I destroyed his main. I gutted his outside bases. I think I had the watchtowers as well during that whole fight. So that was, to me, that was the indicator that I that things were gonna be okay because he hadn't he hadn't gotten the time to to resecure everything. Wow, 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 wow. I'm just I'm just breathing for a sec. Oh, yeah, that was nuts. That was absolutely crazy. Oh my god, bro. We need those characters. I need, I need who, do you see that plant person? Did you see that piranha plant guy? How do I summon him? How do I summon a giant piranha plant monster? I would like that. I would like that. Thank you. But it's super cool. They're adding like 2v2 to this. There's going to be a single player uh, prologue mission, I think they said, releasing even in this alpha phase. So there's a little bit of something for everybody. And they're working on a horde mode. They're making a Left 4 Dead survival mode for this game. That's just, I mean, what else? What else do you need? What else do you need? Yeah, Valkyrie, man. I feel like Valkyrie's letting me down. The extra power gain from lost stuff seems nice, but I don't. It feels like I can just get these guys, right? It feels like I should just get my own, my own air guys. That feels, that feels like the play. I just don't, I don't think I get the benefit from Valkyrie anymore. Might as well, might as well be able to instantly benefit from the decisions that I make. Although if this is how they want people to play, you also imagine that they would just make you start with three bases, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what people are doing this weekend. We'll, we'll try to learn. Nate's my favorite zero space streamer. Thank you, GD. I appreciate that. It's a fun game. It's a fun game. The tournament we did, the tournament last in January, last phase was sick. That was that 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 alone was enough for me to know everything was gonna be okay. Yeah, everybody has a chance. Everybody has a chance for that tournament too. I don't think I don't think that that's something that I'm going to be trying to get into, but if I if I end up commentating it, that would be awesome, you know? That's my long-term hope anyway. You know I love casting stuff. It looks like the nourishing pod model is a little bit smaller too. Looks like they clean things up. Either that or it's just the, the zoom out camera I've been on. It's nice though. Enemy in range. Because you queue all that stuff up, then you go out micro for the creeps and the camps, and then while that's happening, yeah, you're gonna get the money for that from killing the, the camps. It, it, all, all it does is accelerate, it's like a self accelerating thing. Yeah, thanks, 27. I appreciate that, man. 
It is cool. No, 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 no. It's really cool to think anybody that plays well enough could get in. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to be throwing games or anything, but I just don't, I don't expect myself to get that good at it either. Unit production complete. You know, you know, Nathan, Nathan likes to have a little bit too much fun with his games. It's a, it's a big weakness, big weakness of his. Who the hell is this tall, creepy looking guy? Slenderman. He's got fucking Slenderman commander. Oh, I didn't eat my guy, Rip. Don't have that zero. You don't have zero ping this game, Nathaniel. I do think about it though. I do. Production is now on. Do a little YOLO move. We'll cancel that one. Upgrade complete. Yeah, we already have it, right? We already have the poison sting upgrade. That's the best part. We know he's probably just gone straight back for that Ethereum patch, so. As the time runs out, I don't want to wait. No, I don't want to waste it. Unit production complete. Production is now oh, you're sending out another one. Was there a reason that you believed yourself deserving of such a luxury as this? Good, sir. Good, sir. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. No, no gas for you. He's got like no Sferatu as his as his guy though. Did you guys see that? Unit production complete. Production is now idle. What you got? What's going on? Oh my god, he's only just expanding! What? Okay, well, we got lucky this game, I guess. I think... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think we, think we just got lucky here. I'm ready to say that. Unit production complete. Production is complete. Look how many dudes I've got. It's amazing. It's amazing. Just checking for ninjas. Unit production complete. Production is now on. Unit production complete. Production is now on. An additional shade. No, no, no. Give me life steal. Give me life steal. Can they heal themselves off rocks with the life steal? Is that legal? We're gonna get the ability. Oh wait, 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 wait. Don't we don't we get it for free? Cause we paid for it. We get it instantly. Upgrades are instant. 
That is that is actually just crazy good. That has to be the best one, just strategically. Oh, thanks for the raid. Yo, thanks for the raid, Phalo. I hope you're doing well. Happy Friday. Welcome, welcome, everybody. My name's Nate. I'm a six six year running grandmaster in StarCraft 2. And I like zero space a good bit. I like zero space a good bit. It's pretty fun. Yeah, I think I think we're there. I think we're there. Isn't infusion ready? Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Unit production complete. Production is now yeah, just take the base out. Oh, the screaming sounds. That's nice. I do like that. What if I just click his base? Can he stop me? <laughs> Here we go. Here comes Johnny. Doesn't the game end? Yeah, he doesn't have another base. You don't need to kill every building. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Oh, gotta say it's a breath of fresh air watching Zero Space. Dude, it's good, man. It's good. It's a good game. Oh, yeah, the follow mode chat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I gotta be honest. You know, you, ne you never know when you're gonna get raided. You never know when you're going to get raided. So I'm just, I'm just gonna set it. I'm gonna set it to, to zero minutes just in case. And, uh... If anybody wants to say hi, you guys can. Welcome to the stream. I enjoy Zero Space a lot. I, uh, yeah, I'm just playing the game. I've been live so far today for about six hours. I'm planning on streaming for probably another two or three hours. If you, uh, if you guys are having a nice time, if you're enjoying yourselves, I, of course, appreciate the love. Thank you so much, Phalo. And thank you. Yeah, Ray Rain's looking out for you guys. You know, when I, I normally when I play StarCraft, you know, there's a lot of salty people in that game. So I, I, play, I keep the follow mode on a lot when I play that game. So I'm sure you guys get it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you, sir. I hope you had a great stream. Hope you had a great stream and I hope you have a fantastic weekend. That's very, that's very kind of you. What am I enjoying the most about Zero Space at the moment? What I really like about it is that there's certain quality of life things. Like, I, I, I kind of enjoy that there's economic decision making but you don't have to babysit it as much like i feel like i'm spending the majority of the game running around the map trying to create opportunities for myself and i really like that i really really enjoy that my dog wants to say hi come here lou come here yeah yeah Ish. good boy he says hi he says hi Ish. <laughs> i love you Lou, I, I got a game. I got it, got it, I got it. <laughs> yeah, he's a good boy. What I really liked about Zero Space originally, like my absolute favorite things is that this game promotes strategy more than anything else. Like StarCraft 2 is maybe 70% mechanics, 30% strategy, like 90 most of the time, about 70% of the time, mechanics are going to decide a game. Like you're very rarely going to win on strategy alone in StarCraft 2, you know? And then you have games like Brood War where it's like 90% mechanics. Like your strategy almost doesn't matter at all unless you're literally playing at the tip top level because there's nothing, like there's no way to make up for a mechanical skill difference in that game, like through strategy. It, it doesn't really exist, you know what I mean? But I feel like these games get us a little bit closer towards being more strategy games and that's, that's something that I really enjoy about them. I just really like that aspect.
I want I want the game to center around making meaningful decisions and kind of you know planning and and, and and strategizing and not not just the fighting and the micro part. I enjoy the micro part. I I, I love everything about that. But that's that's the whole point is that you you have you should have you should have some some degree of of choice. You should have options. The whole the whole game shouldn't just boil down to who can click faster. Now on on some level, on some level if it is a strategy game, you need to be able to make choices that matter. The best thing about Zero Space is that every single game you get to pick like talent trees. And it's not even just like, oh, every race has its own talent tree. It's the fact that the mercenaries that you pick as your potential summonable units, they also give you a different option for the talent tree, which effectively means that you've got like a huge permutation of what the effective number of matchups in a game can even be. Like there's just so many different ways that a game can play out because of that system. So for me, that really that really sells the game in a huge way because even if if you're the kind of person, if you're like me, you think Terran versus Terran sucks because the way that matchup is designed, because the way that it was the way the game got balanced for all the other races or whatever crap, TVT ended up sucking. Like Terran versus Terran is just an unmitigated shit show 90% of the time. And most most people don't really like to play it. But in this game, you can make specific you can make specific choices deliberately because you want to play a certain style or a certain way and you can use the talents you can use the mercenaries you can use all the different options that some of the races have for the heroes there are just so many different ways that you can make choices that matter in this game and that is awesome and it's like sure yeah if people out micro you they're still going to beat you and if people outplay you and they're faster than you generally they're still going to beat you there's that 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 skill gap that whole thing hasn't been like gotten rid of they didn't get rid of that they didn't take that out of the game the only thing they did is just change where some of those decisions get to happen so it's a little more uh you, f you feel like you have a little more agency you feel like you have opportunity and that's huge that's huge The Poison Sting upgrade is instant, so that's very nice. He sunk a lot into that. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. We just gotta hope we can make something of it, right? We just gotta hope we can make something of this. Damn. Yeah, you jumped me. That was tough. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Let's see. Maybe we can flank him somewhere around the side. Just try and... Oh, no, no. He's just got a lot of the melee dudes. Just gotta try and counterattack him. Look at that wall. Look at him go. Enemy psychic. Is in 
Unit production complete. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna try and get another Unit big jump on us here, huh? Production is now Unit idle. production complete. Production Unit production is now complete. Idle. Production is now idle. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. <laughs> Yeah, I think this has been in development a bit longer than Stormgate has, yeah. You can see they're clearly further along with some of their, like, conceptual stuff, right? In some regards, they're very far ahead. I think Stormgate is really good, but most most people's complaints most people's complaints about it are because like they just have no concept of how long it takes to make a game. People just pretend like uh, Frost Giant said the game was already done or some shit. That's 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 what most Stormgate whining is to me. Just just people that don't really pay attention getting upset. That game is great. It's nowhere near as far along as this, but it's very, it's also very good. I like both of them. I played both of them quite a bit in their respective test phases. Yeah, the armored guys are just crazy good against these. What do I even do? Oh, there's the obelisk. The obelisk of doom! Yeah, I gotta cancel everything and make... What would, what would work here? The shades? You think the shades would be good against this? Maybe? Oh, I could. Oh, it blocked me. He could. I didn't even know they could block it. I don't even know. I don't even know what these guys do. No, those armored guys are unkillable. GG. I don't think I don't think there's anything we really could have done there, right? After he, as soon as he committed to doing that, I feel like there was nothing we could really do. Like the moment the moment that he had that set up outside of our third, I think we were I think we were pretty cooked. So If I go for a Rondi, I get the easier upgrades, but the mineral only unit isn't very tanky, right? Right? Like, that's that's kind of what makes it tough. I don't have any early answer to the mass armored thralls, but I'm going to figure it out. I think I just need more units. If I hold the third base the first time, we probably win, but it's, like, too close to call almost.
What do control towers do? They give you experience over time. It's hard because the Grell hero only has one combat ability. So the consume can be pretty useful, but you don't you don't win most 1v1s against the the other the other heroes early on. It's it's very difficult. Perfect. There we go. See, I got zero ping. That's perfect perfect cleanup. Big difference. That helps. It does help. Boom. Yeah, he's going for the other one. Let's contest him. Let's contest him. Oh. Get out. Yeah, that hero is crazy strong, right? Enemy in range. Yeah, Prefect Nova. He has three combat abilities, so that's what makes it really difficult. So I try to go, I try to push for map control off the Grellings. I think the only thing we're missing is like a dedicated rally for harvesters next, probably. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Building upgraded. Let's see. I'm just I'm just staring at the mini map, waiting for him to pop up somewhere. Damn. Straight to the hover tanks. Holy shit! Yeah, we're getting we're getting busted. He's he's all in in the shit out of us. Ay ay ay. I don't think there's anything we can do about this. Damn, crazy all in, huh? Yeah, we are dead. Let's go next. Where can you get your hands on the game? Um, I have no idea. Somebody in chat will probably, uh, yeah, you can't post links in chat either. I got, I got no idea. I would just Google uh, zero space backer kit. That would probably be the best way to find it. It might also be linked in the giveaway that I have pinned in the chat. But I do not actually know. I do not actually know.
It's in the giveaway link. There you go. Oh, this is the same guy that just uh, one based me, right? I'm going to do the same thing and just see if I can hold his cheese this time. I don't think I don't think there's any other way I can play than really, really greedy. I don't I don't think I'm supposed to be able to do anything else. Any big changes from the previous play testing? Yes, a lot. Yeah, the changelog is massive. Massive. Yeah, I posted just the general bug fixes on the Discord. Enemy yeah, you, you guys can find it if you want it. It's out there. I do enough free advertising for this game, okay? It's really good. Back them. Buy it. There you go. You can figure the rest out. I love you. You got this. I want to try and set it up so like the main defense can be in this zone was sort of what I was thinking. Well, we know he's just going to be out on the map trying to kill me, right? So... Yeah, see? One base. We know. We know. Oh, we know. Unit production. Production is now. Hmm. Enemy in range. Building upgraded. As you know. There's the hover tanks. Boom. Not Is it building the... Oh, it's. I wasn't sure if it was spending money or not. 
I just wanted my turret things to build, but they never made. I think if these turrets had started at any point, I think we could have won this game. So I feel like that was like, we sort of learned something, even though it was from a mistake. It's a very painful mistake because there's, again, I don't think there's anything we can do anymore because of this. We probably lose. Some of them are starting to finish. Okay, it's getting easier. It's getting easier. Yeah, you you just you just chill, bro. You just chill and do your thing. I'm gonna be I'm gonna chill here. Infusion ready. Jeez Louise. Whew, what a game. What a game. Production is now idle. Where is he? Where is the zip to tell? Come here. Come to Papa. Unit production complete. Bye bye. Production is now on.
Phoenix production complete. Phoenix production complete. Production is now idle. Enemy in range. Oh, there we go, baby. There we go. Uh, uh. Can I get the ability for them to jump yet? Yes, I can. Get them out. Get them out. Get them out. Run. Run. Nope. Still not enough room to run. Just one of us makes it out. Nice. Wah. Wah. Oh, wah. What? Ooh, that was close. There we go, baby. There we go. Oh, figuring it out is not easy. It's not. So what I did this game that I think changed things from the last one is I delayed my harvesters. I still went up to three bases. I still went up to three bases, but the biggest thing I did was instead of, instead of getting any harvesters for gas, I made, I put the heels right in front of the turrets and I put four, I put four creep colonies in the natural because I, I saw that he was on one base and I had three. So I was like, all I need to do is not die. Right. And then it's kind of should be relatively easy from that point on. And it, it was so his attack was big because of the, like the hover tank stuff clearing me out. But the, the biggest difference too, is that the first time I played him, most of my units were out on the map when the hover tanks spawned. So the hover tanks were able to just clap my cheeks like easy so in this game, I didn't send anything out. I waited for him. I was able to keep my first few. I was able to keep my first few stingers infused and ready to go. How do I get those little tiny bot guys? I want little tiny bot zerglings. I didn't see those. I didn't see those. Why can't, how do I get those ones? Are those the ghost crabs? Where's my piranha plant hero? Or my Kerrigan hero? Come on. Nice stuff. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, GG. But that's what's so fun about it is you can customize it and do it so many different ways. Like I like I enjoy I enjoy Valkyrie in some situations. I think the the Arandi with the upgrade thing is just it's going to be it's like too good because I can delay. I can delay taking my harvester so long. I can delay getting my harvester for such a long time be specifically because by the time I need the upgrade, I can instantly research it. So it's like the way that you weight the decision making is completely different because I don't actually need time to research it. So that changes the way that I can approach how I you know how far I'm willing to go to try and get that, right? About to leave work. Hey Katie. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're doing fajitas and margaritas tonight, okay? We're doing fajitas and margaritas tonight. Thank you for the sub. Thank you for the sub. We'll post some pictures in Discord. We'll post some pictures in the food, the food, the food channel on our on our Discord tonight. It's, it'll be great. It'll be a good time. Oh, I didn't. I wasn't looking for a second. My think my guy died. Oops. Now he just came. He just came and sniped my hero while I was building. That's okay. Mm-hmm. 
Well, now we just chill. I can't do anything till my hero's done, so. Let's go again. Yeah, we get the combo. We get the, uh, we get the little bit of everything Fajita plate. That's how we like to party. We just split it. We order, uh, we order a, a tray that comes with uh, beef, chicken, and prawns. And that's, we just split that. Oh, he's got like a sick one-shot combo, huh? Okay, so this is like, I, obviously I had no idea they were going to add heroes to the game that can one-shot each other now. So, like on the last version of the game, the heroes weren't this strong. But now they're like way stronger. But Grell has the worst hero in the game because you can't one-shot any of the other heroes with it. So, I just, again, I just play really greedy because I think it's the only, it's the only viable way to play. It's got to be real greedy. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Because I don't actually know if he's expanded or, yet, or not yet. Because both times I tried to leave my base, he just one-shot me. As you can see, that makes, makes life tough. Oh, he's coming over. He's already ready to catch me here, too. Yeah, it looks like he's just going to all in us, right? I think that's where we're at. Building upgraded. Building upgraded. Yeah, he's just being crazy greedy because I had no map control, right? Yeah, the fact that she can one-shot the other heroes is actually pretty, pretty fucking disgusting. Building upgraded. Yeah, I don't think there is any upside of the Grell hero. Like, uh, it's the only, the only thing it has that the other ones don't is it can teleport home. That's, that's really about it. But Grell, Grell only has one hero, so you just you just kind of have to deal with it. You just don't you don't get any you don't get any combat ability from uh, from your hero. That's the hardest part. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Building upgraded. Yeah, teleporting home seems really cool until you realize that, like, the early game is lost every game because that's not actually useful in any aggressive manner. So, like, then this stuff just happens, right? Like, I don't I don't think there was anything I could do. The hero, the hero that he's using is crazy strong. I just don't, I don't really know what, I don't really know what I'm supposed to do yet, that's all. Like, if I had the ability to just kill him and then get map control and be able to do whatever I want, like, that would probably be better than being able to teleport home. Do you know what I mean? That's what makes it hard. That's what makes it hard. 
That makes it seem like he was just taking his third base, though, which is good. Good for us. Oh, yeah, he's getting the air guys, too. He's getting all the air guys. Where's my upgrades? Are you fucking kidding me? It didn't it didn't start. Ah! Okay. I can't. Can I not? Am I not allowed? I'm not allowed to build it. Okay. It just never started. I started my augmentation pool like five minutes ago, but it just never built. Any anybody want to take any bets on Nathan coming back and winning this game? I don't. I don't think it's gonna happen. I think we're. I think we're in some deep shit. Enemy sighted. Yeah, there is nothing I could have done against that. GG. Let's go next. There is nothing I could do against that. If I see... I don't think it tells you what their hero is on the loading screen, but if I see that they pick that hero, if they pick the the, the new wizard or the, the paladin chick, I just can't leave my base at any point the whole game. There's just, there's nothing you can do against those champs. All right, this guy's Grell, so I think we're fine now. Yeah, Legion is just insane. They're insanely good. Balance pretty good in this one. Uh, I don't really talk about balance, but you guys are free to have those conversations if you like. It's not it's not something that I really care about. I think the most important thing is that the game is good and that it's fun to play and that it runs well and that it's accessible. Those are those are the big things for me that I look at for. Personally, the only reason I'm playing this game is because I find it fun to play. That's it. I don't have any other answer for you. Yeah, we don't we don't we don't worry ourselves with things like balance here. That's for that's for the angry children on Reddit to complain about never being perfect or something like that, right? I think we I think we just let the kids balance wine. I think we just let the kids do that. All right, I, would, I don't want to start my thing until that boots up. Let's see what hero he has. Ah, oh, that's a great grab for us. Oh, we never, we never, we never get to eat like that. We never get to eat like that, that's for sure. What drew me to Grell over the other, other options? Yeah, I don't know. My my approach to games is I try to learn the game first and then then do other stuff. So the easiest way to learn something is to find one way that you can do it and then just do that a lot until you gain an understanding and then those skills will translate towards doing other things. So it doesn't really matter if I end up playing Protectorate or Legion or whatever crap whenever this game actually comes out, you know? But if I play a lot, then then I'll be able to develop that understanding. And then I'll be able to know what, uh, for example, a high level Legion player might do against Grell. That's just, that's always been the way that I've prepared. Legion and Protectorate are both kind of boring. They're very samey. There's not really any draw, not that much intrigue to them. Again, you did ask my opinion, so that's, that's, that is what my opinion is. I think the Grell's a lot cooler. I think the Grell's a lot more interesting, and I think that the design of the Grell is much cooler. I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it.
It's a good pickup for him. He gets the clap back, but Unit production I think we're already in a pretty pretty solid position. The Grell's hero specifically? Yeah, there's only one Grell hero. You can pick other hero options, but there's only one Grell hero. I'm not interested in playing with the other heroes. I don't care about balance. I don't care about winning. I like smooth game design. I like nice aesthetics. I like when my aesthetic of my army matches. I don't want to use a Terran guy when I'm playing Zerg. I don't want to do that. That's all. I hope eventually they add more heroes for Grell to use, and that's that's the only thing I have to say about that. I have I have zero other commentary about that. If they give Protectorate or Legion anything that looks remotely interesting, I'll probably try it. But so far, I, I don't think they look that interesting. Spreading plants around, getting to work on my yard, getting to build the ultimate lawn and kill another guy. Now that's, that's pretty fun. I find Grell's design intrinsically, intrinsically interesting. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Yeah. Look at him with his little siege unit. Got him. Yeah, Grell Mirror, Grell Mirror is pretty good. He went for his fast uh, siege guys, but those are not going to be very good until, like, he had a siege guy in the middle of the map, so it was easy for me to surround him. Yeah, I like the design of the Grell. They've got cool, they got cool giant crab monsters and stuff like that. You guys know I love giant crab monsters and stuff like that. I can't honestly tell the difference between Protectorate and Legion sometimes, so... I think I think as there's more distinction made between the two visually and with the way that the units move and stuff, I think we'll like I'll probably start to develop more of an opinion on them. Grell is just very clearly the only thing in this game that is like 100% this game to me. But I'm excited to see what they end up doing with Protectorate and Legion down the line. It seems like this patch, they did change a lot of the baseline passive stuff. So it is, it is completely, it is completely possible that even in this patch, they've already made them better. But the thing is, I, I kind of want to know what changed in this patch before I try to play the other factions too. Cause again, I, I might as well figure it all out playing, playing the one thing that I can do reasonably well. Because you guys, you guys will say you want to watch me play everything, but if I come on here and just lose 40 games in a row, pretending like I'm trying to learn, or actually trying to learn, you guys are going to rip me to pieces anyway. You don't want any excuses, so I'm not going to give you any reason to complain. Okay, so he's Legion with Moran, which means we'll probably see hover tanks from him. We'll probably see hover tanks out of him. But their guys are not super good at diving the turrets, so we'll try and take advantage of that. Thank you for the sub, Badonka Donker. God bless, man. Well met. Thank you, Dry Pile, as well. Love you, dude.
There it is. Now I now I wait for the the what is it the paladin chick to one shot me. Gotta babysit him, gotta babysit him. What's he doing that he hasn't gone for either tower? You think he's you think he found out Nathaniel is a greedy boy? You think he's got a you think he's doing something special just for me? I'll take it. Building upgraded. I'm traumatized by Legion players. That's that's very true. Very, very, very true. That one was fast. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Production is now idle. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Got him. Note that he's getting up to his second base and I'm on three. Get out. Whoop. Unit production complete. Production is now on Building upgraded. Upgrade complete. Uh 
Hello, Sunny Jim. You done it now. Well, there you go. The other side of it is you can still get a lot of you can still get a lot of stingers out off the three bases, even if you don't end up having to defend yourself. So there you go. I I, I guess I guess that works too. I will take that. I will take that as much as I'll take anything else. Why not? Why not? Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. If you guys enjoy Zero Space and you're down to watch some more, I'm going to be broadcasting this throughout the entirety of this current alpha phase. So I definitely encourage you to stick around, make yourself comfortable. And of course, if you always have any questions, you can always ask. I appreciate uh, everybody that politely engages and everybody that casually enjoys Looks like we got Protector at next match. First time I've seen you or this game. Thanks for your hospitality. You're very welcome, sir. Thank you. Uh, thank you for your kindness. I hope you had a nice day. Hope you guys had a great week. I was so, I was so, uh, I was so excited for this to come back. I was so, so, so excited for this to come back. I was having a lot of fun playing Stormgate. But they've got a couple, there's a couple UI bugs that were uh, affecting me a lot. And then, then that came, that went offline and I was like, when's that zero space? When's that zero space dropping? We eating good, eating good this patch. Just chill now. See what he's got. Here we go. Okay. I wanted to kill his dude and get out. That was my goal anyway. At least kill his little soldier guy. And if I do this, I can maybe waste a non-zero amount of his time. Building upgraded. Yeah, he's super aggressive, right? He just keeps trying to dive my champ. Unit production complete. Production is now idle.
Building up there. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. I'm going for it, baby. These guys hold this down. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Unit production complete. Enemy in range. Unit production complete. Production is now under. Unit production complete. Fusion ready. Production is now idle. Jeez, okay. So he's got some interesting he's got some interesting dudes mixed in there. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Building upgrade. Building upgrade. Go! Move! Move! Oh, my hero died. Fuck! Sometimes the units just don't move. That's tough. I think, I think I'm gonna lose. Like, every time I get a game against somebody good, I get fucked by some bug. It's so dumb. Like, this could- I, this guy's actually really good at the game. And then I get hit with some dumb shit like that. And now I'm gonna get put against some other person who doesn't know how to macro for three minutes and... I'm gonna get an insta win on my next game. It's brutal. It's absolutely brutal. Absolutely brutal. Yeah, so many of the units just do absolutely nothing. I think I think that's game. It's gonna go next. I don't I don't really know if I can win if I get bugs like that. I'm just gonna pray it doesn't happen again.
That's unfortunate, though. When you attack move and you have a lot of units, it just doesn't, like, sometimes units just don't move, so... Yeah, another Legion player. Legion's tough, man. Legion is tough. GG, thank you. Thank you so much. I just gotta be ready for him to jump me, right? I just got to stare at my hero because he can he can one shot it right since he's legion. Let's try and be ready. Yeah, about half the units when I a moved when I a moved that game about half my units just didn't uh, move. They just didn't respond at all. When I did that really big counterattack, half my units just stopped. I was spamming attack move for them to get going again and they just didn't do anything. So that was, yeah, that was what happened. It's a pretty unfortunate. I won't throw a temper tantrum. I'll just, just let you guys know when shit breaks. That's all. It's an alpha. Just go in super deep, teleport out. That's how you buy time anyway. And we build all of our, we get all of our harvesters for gas and then the game begins. I think this map is a little too spread out for us to be able to make a static defense wall to defend if he pushes us, so. That's why my game plan is largely relying on just trying to be as aggressive as I can be, lead him around the map, delay as long as I can any attack that he might go for. Oh shit, he spawned the tower on me. He spawned that tower on me, ay ay ay. I need supply anyway, so I might as well reinforce some of these. Here we go. 
Yeah, no reason. No reason to risk that, right? You can't do anything about it. Building upgraded. Building upgraded. That's what I thought. Oh, that still hasn't started yet, though, huh? I see that. Well, that's where it gets a little tougher again, right? He's just going to make his heavily armored boys... Do, 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 do. I mean, he is just playing melee, so there is that. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. What else do I have here? A Rondi guard. Yeah, let's try that. Let's try and actually spend our mercenary charges this game. Something we don't normally do. Unit production is now idle. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Enemy side. Beautiful. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Yeah, get the hero. Perfect. Beautiful, tasteless. Nathanius absolutely getting right on top of everything in his base.
Can I make amplifiers? Can mind control enemy units? Time warper? Now you see I'm I'm using the the some of them just they kind of bug out and don't move again. That's what's getting me. We're getting better at dealing with Legion. Getting better. Nuts. And the inside is now. Channeling flux is interesting. We're gonna have to build. Well, we do actually have a lot of gas. I think that we can we can make this work, actually. We can make weavers. We can we can afford weavers. Mind control consumes energy when channeling. Cool. Cool. Very cool. Very, very, very cool. Cool, 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 cool. Ending in sight. Power through wisdom. My cheap fun units are gone, though. Now I just have these Mysterio looking guys. Just gotta spend, just gotta spend that crazy amount of gas that we have, really. I'll take the extra cast range on abilities. Sure, why not? Enemy cycling. Oh! Oh my god, I used mind control and then... I used mind control? I mean, yeah, the targeting still gets rid of the mouse cursor. That's still a problem, but... I mind controlled his dude, and then, uh... I, I, I consumed it. I mind controlled him, and then I consumed him. Did not even know I could do that. Not, did not have any awareness of such an ability. Production is now yes, idle. Unit production complete. Enemy sighted. I can't. It gets rid of my mouse cursor every time. <laughs> Give it back. Okay, we got it. GG. Oh.
The fact that the mouse cursor permanently disappears every time you try to use the Weaver's ability is like, gotta be the single most frustrating thing I've encountered today. Beyond that, beyond that, generally it's been pretty clean. I think you guys saw a couple of times I was trying to show it off where the, the units were stopping. I think you saw that once or twice. They don't really respond to the actions and they just kind of stay there frozen. So I was trying not to completely bungle that. But I, all I had to do is just hit the cocoon ability onto the heroes and shut them down and that was fine. But I mind controlled his rhino and then I consumed it. The mind control is not a permanent ability. So I, I really don't even know what happened. I feel, like, I feel like I did something kind of strange there. That might be an unintended interaction. That may be an unintended interaction. I mind controlled his rhino and then I consumed it. But mind control is not permanent. Appar apparently it's a channel. So that makes it seem even stronger to do that. That was pretty fun, good game. All right, we got Protectorate Moran. <sighs> Been a nice chill day. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Ladies and gentlemen and those whatever persuasion you may be or not be. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate it. Happy Friday, Mr. Spades. Did they add more units? Yeah, several. I think when I'm host, I can one-shot the lings with my Q. But I always, it's always they have enough health to... You need one more attack. That's kind of what I'm noticing. There we go. Looks like a Warcraft unit. Tight. I never played Warcraft, but hell yeah, bro. Rock on. Can anyone get into the alpha? I think if you back them on uh, their backer kit, I think you can. Yeah, I think you get. I think they've been, they've been trying to do, trying to do like same day, like same day access for people. Um, anybody that that signs up to the backer kit now, anyway. So yeah, I do believe. I do believe you can. Oh, he's trying to like wall off and stuff. He's trying to get all. He's trying to be all cute. Scrapped. 
Unit production complete. I'm just gonna be really annoying like this on him. It's gonna use use this to be as annoying as possible. I got him to salvage his building, so. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Oh, I might have too close. That's okay. That's okay. I was I was in his face. I was I was in his face. That's fair. It's very it's completely understandable that what just happened happened. Enemy psychic. And this is when he gets his first opportunity to go out on the map. So we we delayed it as long as we could. Building upgrade. We delayed it about as long as we could, I think. Building upgrade. Building upgrade. Building upgrade. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Unit production complete. Pretty cool that works, production right? This game's crazy. I got crazy technology. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Upgrade complete. Unit production complete. Unit production is now idle. Production is now idle. What you doing? I'm playing on nothing but heart. Unit production complete. Production is now on. Unit production complete. Production is now on. Unit production complete. Production is now on. <laughs> Just keep killing the free guy that he gets. <laughs> He got me with the stun. He got me with the stun. He's doing well. He's doing well. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Now we wait. We hope he goes. What we really want is for him to go to the top side. And that's the idea. That's the goal anyway. Nice. 
Let's see. Let's take. Yeah, acid rupture, I guess. At some point, at some point, you've always got to get, always got to get that. All right, let's go. Yeah, I mind controlled all of his tanks. I just mind controlled his ult, all of his tanks. Easy. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. 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 Powers of wisdom. Unit production complete. Production is now idle. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Okay, he's got nothing. He's got nothing. Let's get all our upgrades. Enemy psychic. Now bring it all back, bring it all back. Can I consume the tank? Can I consume the mind controlled tank? Yes, I can. Okay, it doesn't do enough damage to kill it. That's dope though. Yeah, my tanks are pretty good. I figured it out guys. <laughs> Yo <laughs> That's it I just take his units Why didn't I think of that first? Wow That's actually hilarious <laughs> I can't believe that worked I cannot believe that worked Ooh. I'm like, you see, I just took his tanks. I just took all of his tanks. Just mind controlled the tanks over and over. And I used consume on it, but I guess the tanks have a lot of health. Cause it only did, it only damaged the tank. It only did like a fourth of the tank's health as damage. So it wasn't, it wasn't like anything crazy, but it was pretty fun. It was pretty fun. Oh, that was awesome. Poof. Let's go again. It worked insanely well, dude. Mind controlled Zerglings. That's how you do it. Just summon all those Mysterio looking guys. Just just hijack his army. Easy. You wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of that? He tried to push me. He tried to push deep into my base. And then he just was not ready. He was not ready for that. 
I think the other really important thing about mind control is that I think when I when I use it on his units, I think he actually loses the ability to uh, use his recall too, like the tactical recall that they have. Because Grell, Grell, you don't really have the same the same type of it's not the same type of recall for Grell as it is as it is for the other factions. So. Your snake boy hero was a great distraction. Yeah, the, the Grell the Grell hero it has its weaknesses. The biggest strength is that you can run all the way into their base. You can run all the way into their base and then just teleport out. That's probably the best thing about the Grell hero. The worst thing about it is well, everything else, right? It's combat its combat abilities are a little bit lacking. It hits, it hits pretty heavy with its regular attack. But it does not have the ability to do the, the stun and the jumping around. I think harassing the depot on the right side, when I, I got him to salvage a depot at one point, I got him to salvage that depot. I think the harass, the harass really worked out very nicely and set us up. And then... Yeah, everything else just kind of fell into place after that. It was a good game. How long do you think they bounced around alien species names before they picked Grell? You know, Grell seems like it's too much what somebody probably had in their idea of what it needed to be. I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna guess because of how interesting Grell is and how different it is than everything else in the game that the person behind it probably knew from the start. They probably had this idea for a while. That's kind of the vibes I'm catching. I think it makes sense to want your factions to have pretty simple names. But Grell gets across very immediately that it's alien, right? Does, this doesn't Grell doesn't sound human at all, and then it's uh, it's one syllable, easy to spell, easy to sell. If you guys, by the way, haven't uh, already checked out, there's a Gleam giveaway that they are doing for Zero Space. They're giving away quite a bit of really cool stuff to the people that are playing the game, people that are watching the game. Um, I do have a code for myself you can use to redeem on the watch a streamer tab it is pinned in the chat you can just copy that hit redeem on that bad boy get yourself i think it's like a bunch more entries into the into the drawings so they're giving away stuff like rtx 4070 graphics cards the opportunity to have an npc in the game named after you you imagine look i don't care if i have to kill him or bang him but nathanius needs to be in the game all right that's that's just a it's just a light fantasy of mine It would be nice. You would have called them Chaz Wazers. Yeah, see, I think I think that's probably why that's why you are the guy that uh, does what you do and, and they're the guy that does what they do. <laughs> I was trying to think of a not mean way to say that, and then I realized there is no not mean way to say that. So I just I just went for it, not committing in any direction specifically. You roll up on this guy and he just takes your tanks. You're like, ah! Ooh. Nathanius is a grill world for mind controlled enemy tank. No, oh, that's the kind of fantasy stuff that I like. That's the kind of fantasy stuff I like. Like the best thing about Zerg, the best thing about Zerg, in my opinion, Neural Parasite, Burrow Neural is awesome. I would also throw out, uh, Infested Terran, although they did remove that from the game. So that, you know, there's no more Infested Terran in StarCraft too, but when they were in the game, that was probably my favorite Zerg unit. I would say without a doubt, without a doubt, like that, that kind of the, the takeover, the takeover kind of stuff, the, 
that's just awesome. Fantasy wise, it's just really cool. Terran bias showing. My favorite Zerg unit is the one that is Terran. I just like horror stuff. I love horror stuff. I'm not as boring as you guys. You have to remember that. I don't just pick Terran because I like tanks. That's not, that's not why I play Terran. I'm the only, I'm the Terran, I'm like the Terran player that doesn't build tanks, you know? I'm always, I'm the oddball. I love figuring out outside the box solutions. Doing the most boring standard thing that everybody else does is my least favorite way to play any game. That's why I'm... That's why today, today has been super fun because I'm just iterating on my own. I started the day trying to do something similar to what I did last patch, and then I kind of realized I had too much money, and then I wasn't scaling as well, you know? So... Like, that's the fun part. And then I was like, okay, well, maybe maybe I just have to find out what I can survive against. So I just started doing these really fast, heavy expands and letting people attack me. And then instead of working forwards, I just started working backwards. So I'm like, all right, let's work from the point of being susceptible to an attack and then trying to defend that attack. That's That's kind of where I'm coming with that. So that's what I really like about playing these kinds of games. And I think I've been able to do that a lot today. I've been able to do that a lot. Might need to restart my game though. Just gonna do that real quick. Your viewers enjoy boring things? I, I mean, I feel like that's a pretty heavy handed statement to just throw out there, but if that's how you feel, you know, eh, just uh, careful, careful talking to everybody else in chat. They might not like that. That's what games are for to have fun. Exactly, exactly, exactly. I'm just restarting my game real quick cause uh, my search bugged out. It says it's still running. Yeah, see, that's that seems like a good sign to force the restart. There we go. All right, it's booting up. One space. I have a, I have a feeling that they're probably not going to change the name of the game, but I feel you. I feel you. The survival mode that they're adding looks really cool. I think that'll be a fun way to kind of just veg out and play this game. They're they're putting in like a horde mode, like Left for Dead, into this. It's pretty dope. It's pretty dope. I haven't. I haven't seen it yet. I just saw it in the patch notes. They're gonna, it's gonna be like a procedurally increasing enemy attack waves or something like that. Just like how long can you hold out? I played tons of, tons of survival in Left 4 Dead and Horde Mode and Gears of War growing up. Those are, those are some of my favorite games to play. I kind of like that you combine some of those modes with like traditional RTS experience and you can get a completely different type of dynamic in a game. 
Yeah, Lewis is coming over here. And if we can't find a game, if everybody logged off or something, I don't know. We, we have been live for about seven and a half hours. I could go a little bit further. I'd like to play more. If I can't get a game, there's not much I can do about that. But I'm going to leave it here searching for a little bit. And how about if it gets to five o'clock and we don't get a game? Then uh, I'll just wrap it up. We did play a lot of games today, Lewis. It's true. It's true. My dog's telling me to get my ass off the chair, so... He's giving me that. He's giving me that look like he's embarrassed to know who I am. Yeah, well, that's the secret, Five Aces. Most people just want to play games and have fun. That's, that's the reality. Video games are not popular because of gatekeepers who talk about how they're better than other people because they have MMR. That is not the reason why video games are the number one market for media on Earth. Video games are the number one media market on Earth because fun games are really, really, really fun to play a lot. And that's, that's, that's the secret. That's the secret. It's like all those people that think Brood War was perfectly balanced, but the reality is every unit was just fun to use. So no, there was no real reason to change that much. The game, the game itself is just pretty fun when it works. That's why even when games like StarCraft II were statistically at their most balanced, those were some of the worst metas the game had ever had. Because, you know, the, the only way, the only way that the top three of each race in a game could be evenly balanced is if the top three of those players were all at the exact equivalent skill level, right? Which is impossible to directly measure from them basically playing different games because one of the things that a lot of people don't really consider when they play these kinds of games is that every single faction, every race typically plays like it's its own whole game from the learning curve to the skill floor to the skill ceiling. Like there are so many variables that are different that quantifying the difference between the people that are the best of each is, you know, it's a little bit, it's a little bit fruitless. It's a little bit fruitless. It's a little bit futile. It's super important to make sure to try and build an, an engaging dynamic experience that keeps new players coming in. Because as long as people are playing the game, there's, there's going to be people that'll pay to watch the tournaments or pay for DLC, and then then you can fund tournaments with that money, right? Like, conceptually, anyway. Whew. Am I going to find a game? Is it Ogre? The best players will be the random players who play every race. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. We did it, guys. We beat Stormgate. We beat Zero Space. We beat it on the first day. We completely... There's nobody left. We demolished everyone. Truly incredible. Truly, truly incredible. If someone leaves when you get matched, but before the lobby opens, I think it messes up the game. Okay, well, according, according to a guy in the Discord, he's saying that that's, that's something that happens. Let's give it another, let's give it another pull. I might need to restart it again. I'm gonna try, wait for the game to log in. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 okay. I guess maybe the server's, maybe the server's struggling.
I got eight hours in. I got eight hours in today. I got no complaints. I would like to play more. I would like to play more. I have, I have, I am not even remotely close to fatigued. I truly, truly have been having the best time today. I'm just staring at my screen, hoping I get a game. That's it. I got nothing else to say. Happy Friday, guys. I'll give up in three minutes. The game is good. Okay, how about you guys all back it, okay? So that we have more people to play. There you go, easy. Give up in three minutes, go get a snack, come back to wait and queue off stream. No, 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 no. Going, Katie and I are going out tonight. I got plans with the wife. I got plans with the wife. Yesterday was in a, yesterday was just awesome. Yesterday was a great day. Today was a great day. I'm feeling good about stuff. I'm feeling upbeat. I got a quarterly earnings report coming out for a company I'm invested in that's going to be profitable for the first time in, I think, seven, seven years. They're going to post an annual profit for the first time in seven years next week. I'm excited about that. And uh, I got new games to play. I, got, I get to play Zero Space for a whole freaking month. I get to play Zero Space for a whole freaking month. How cool is that? How cool is that? Yeah, yeah, we're doing we're doing a little Friday night date. We're going, we're gonna go get uh, fajitas and margaritas. We split, we split, we get like a fajita platter that comes with uh, chicken, prawns, beef, and lettuce, guac, chips, and dip. They give you everything. They give you like the works. But we do that. We get that and a couple of Cadillac margaritas. That's that's uh, that's the end of the week. The end of the week toast. We haven't been able to swing that in a little bit, but I've been uh, been making things work. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. Managed to swing it this week. Bunch of people watched the video I made about the StarCraft patch. I got like my biggest YouTube paycheck ever. So I am spending that on my wife because I also wanna have fun. It'll be a good time. You're going to watch Dune too? Nice. Make sure you get one of those popcorn buckets. Yeah, I broke the game, guys. I broke the game. If I sign in with the Discord, if I do that thing, does that fix it when I relog? Is that what I is that like something I'm supposed to do? I mean, does that does that no? No. I cry every time. Okay, I'm going to restart the game one more time. I see a lot of other people posting. I see a lot of other people posting on the Discord that they're it's hanging for them. I couldn't let myself be overtaken. Thank you, Jasmine out. Thank you for the 14 gift subs. Oh my God, thank you. Thank you so much, man. Bro, we got some bright days ahead of us. We got some bright days ahead of us. I've been doing so much work on myself to get ready for when these games come out. And now we're, now we're there. Now we're there, now it's happening. I just couldn't, I couldn't be more excited. Of course, we still get to see that the you know it's an alpha product. It's it's not it's not close to being finished, but they've got they've got the makings of a really nice game. We're gonna get to see the third faction from Stormgate next month, I think, as well. So we'll get to know uh, a decent little bit more about what's going on.
All right, I am seeing a bunch of reports from other players that the server does seem to be down. Uh, people, people, a lot of other people cannot queue. So I just want to say a huge thanks to everybody tuning in today. This was really fun. Uh, we got a raid from somebody. That was really awesome. Huge shout out. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I want to make sure, I want to make sure I correctly name, correctly name the wonderful individual that hooked it up. Shout out to Phalo. Appreciate it. Scott, everybody that came here from your stream was really cool, man. So just thanks. Thanks, everybody, for being great. Um, yeah. I have a hard time relaxing. I'm not getting angry or stressed out as I used to, but I'm, I'm, still, I'm still trying to... My dog just knocked the router off the table. It's still plugged in, though. Nice, nice work, Lewis. But I just want to say that I appreciate everybody who watches my content. I know there's a lot of really other great people out there that do this and do it much better than me. So thank you for giving me your time of day. I, I hope to earn it every time I get on. God bless you. Have a great weekend. And if anybody wants to hit me up, play a 2v2. The 2v2 queue I don't think is up yet, but I think you can play it in customs. So if anybody wants to play a custom zero space 2v2 this weekend, hit me up in the Discord. I'd like to do that. I think that would be fun. I think that that would be a really good time. So... Holla at you, boy. I'll see you guys tomorrow. God bless. Well, Monday. <laughs>